So what's our overall thing? Are we not going to fuck picnic tables or are we? Man, we can't rule it out. <laughs> the first video we had, he was completely nude and he used the hole for the umbrella and have sex with the table. Police say Price admitted to the crimes, four charges of public indecency. You just want to have evidence for when the cops say there is no way some guy is fucking oh, the Also, the guy recording's a fucking rat. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't like him no more. Yeah. Just, yeah, you don't rat. You show your friends it's a weird thing. You don't call the fucking cops. Yeah, snitches get stitches. Although, I guess I would if, like, my kids were sitting at the picnic table at the same time. Fuck them. They should have picked a different table. <laughs> right. You go, you, right. My kids are going to learn real quick. If some guy starts yeah. fucking the picnic table, you take your you're fucking sub somewhere else. You get the fuck out of there. Yeah. That's what you guys should be teaching your kids. Don't talk to strangers and don't sit at the same picnic table with some weirdo fucking it. Oh boy, this ought to be good. Now we see the what's the strangest thing you've ever fucked? Did you ever fuck anything like a teddy bear a when female. you were a kid? They're <laughs> fucking strange. Let me tell <laughs> yeah, you. Hey, uh, you can't ever yeah. understand them motherfuckers. <laughs> Yes, because you don't give a fuck. You let your kids play on their tablets and shit all fucking day. You let them sit at picnic tables when their other weirdos are fucking the hole in the top you of it. And you just don't give a fuck. You know what? If you can't control your fucking kids, stop having picnics. Correct. Right? Period. Correct. Simple as that. Yes. What would you do if you went to the park and caught a guy fucking a table? Would you record it? Would you act like you didn't even see it? Turn, walk the other way? Or would you, like, secretly keep watching? Or... In your mind, you'll go, I'm not, you're going to turn, you're not going to watch this, but you're going to keep peeking periodically to see if he's still going. What At this point, do? I'd sit down in my chair that I brought, probably a, you know, Walmart folding chair. Mm -hmm. That way, I could, get, that way I could get the angle. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm standing and this guy's fucking the hole in the top of the picnic table, I can't see. You want to see underneath too to see if I it's coming see through? I want to see it come through. Fair enough. So you well, can kind of Wouldn't you? Eye. Yeah, I got to agree. Because I feel well, like her, it's hard, at that it's angle, hard to tell. where his foot he's, would be on the ground on yellow, her knee might be on like a red. Well, but if he's got that left hand you see here, <laughs> yeah. he, he could have like two fingers in her asshole, and that's how he could be supporting her in the air. Anal sex, anal sex. Holding her up by her asshole with his two fingers. Oh, oh, you think? <laughs> I guess there's a possibility. I, that didn't cross my mind, but he could be holding her up like a bowling ball. <laughs> he will. He <laughs> Oh, wow, you're fucking smart today on this show. I'm, I'm fucking witty. I, I I have been work. I've been doing brain exercises. <laughs> I've really taken this health thing to a new yeah, level. Yeah, you have. So uh, I've been doing Rubik's cubes and all sorts of stuff. Brain teasers. I could tell. I'm, I really stepped up my game. I'm thinking about going to college. <laughs> now, are, yeah. Finger blasting is fun with friends. But if my friends aren't around, I'll just finger blast myself. Three, two, one. Zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey, Har. If I had to choose between oral sex and birthday cake, oral sex would always win. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. You know what my favorite fantasy is? Come on! Oh, no. mm, I can hardly wait. They should be here any minute. Suck it. Suck it deep. Hey. So, are you ready to have some fun? Because I am. Oh my god. You're a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. Don't be a little bitch. Now listen to me carefully, you fat tub of goo. Can you at least give me a head? Oh yeah! I can put my whole fist in my mouth. What the fuck's gonna happen next? January 14th is Saturday. This episode comes out Monday the 16th of January, episode 70. You might be wondering why there is not a 69. That is because apparently Rodeo Galaxy uh, wrecked her car. So kind of we had her plan to come here today and her and Lola, and uh, things got a little mixed up with that. So we're here, but we got a special surprise anyway. We got Mike here for the... <laughs> What's wrong, bud? Uh, I recently just took up boxing, and uh, <laughs> I'm just a little out of shape, yeah. but uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pursuing a professional boxing career. I got my kids the Oculus. Uh, it's called, what is it called? Meta, Meta Quest 2 uh, they got for Christmas, and I've been playing it more than they have. What a workout. I do bowling, and I do the boxing, and yes, it is. I tried the boxing just for fun, and I was drenched. I did three rounds with some little guy on the thing, and uh, I... 
I was drenched. My hoodie was drenched. Next time, I'll literally dress to play that game correctly. In shorts and like a tank top. Yes. Or no shirt. Right. Like so, they do. Then yep. you feel real. It, it's so Ooh. so. I had I had Mike try. He just did six rounds. He did th- three rounds with yeah. the little guy, three rounds with some older guy, and he he can't even breathe. His fucking head is yeah, all. He says, "Oh, I did three rounds and I was drenched." So he's like, "Yeah, bub, try it out." I do three rounds. He's like, "Hey, do another three. I'm like, "You realize I'm still fat? I'm gonna have a heart attack in your fucking living room." <laughs> I'll tell you, you wouldn't be if you had one of these things. Ooh. Do you think? Uh, and I'm being serious. I'm not even joking around. But I bet you. So like, I, I use the elliptical thing. I'm probably gonna stop. Do maybe I'll do that for my like my lower half. I'll do a little bit. But I think I get a better workout, more cardio workout I, from doing this boxing game. I agree on that. I, I agree, and it's more fun. The problem with the or the uh, the elliptical is you got to like watch TikTok, you got to watch YouTube, you got to find something to do while you're doing it, and, and that's like, what gets boring to me is getting myself to stay on it for a half an hour. This thing, you play 15 minutes worth of boxing. No, and well, it goes the, right by. On the elliptical, too, you're sitting there just doing the same. Yeah, you're watching something, but you're basically just going and going. Right. Rocks, and you're dipping, diving, blocking, punching. You're, yes. It, you're doing a bunch of different things mm-hmm. as opposed to just sitting there and, and rowing or pedaling or so, whatever the hell you want to call it. Anybody that doesn't know the uh, the the Meta or or if you search for Oculus uh, or the Meta Quest 2, it's called also, uh, it's VR headset. comes with the VR headset and two hand things, and it tracks your, for, for people, a lot of people know what it is, but... It tracks where your hands are. So you <clears throat> you have to actually block. You're literally like in a fucking ring. The real deal. You could spin all around 360 degrees, do whatever. Let me tell you the ring girls were. They were they? Were, I don't know if you downloaded them special, but let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, smash or pass. Oh, yeah. I was smashing. <laughs> he wasn't even boxing. They were all over me. I was the winner. <laughs> Next thing For you know, the record, I did win both fights. You did. You are undefeated. Yes, undefeated. I am undefeated. 2-0 so in any, the boxing world. So anybody watching this, watch what the who, how the fuck you talk to me. Okay? Oh, God. Do I, do I have it? Do I, I got It's on here. Oh, here we go. I just... <laughs> here we go. Hit the button. Find I, the buttons. I got... It's, it, Am I get- You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to be back. It's like I never missed a beat. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, if you guys haven't tried it, if anybody is looking to lose like 10 pounds, 20 pounds, something like that, I'm telling you, the 350 that because it, it's about $350, if you look enough, what would you find the one, 347 or something like three, that? Three, I found they were ranged from 349 to like uh, four nine, or 399 Okay. Basically. So, I mean, you're going to pay $500 for a new elliptical unless you get to use it or something. I'm telling you, there's more. Plus, you can watch movies on this fucking thing. You can play regular games. Plus, it's something you could do with a family, though, too. Yes. You know, so, the money is nothing. Yes. The, for the workout, the fun of it with the family and everything, it's it's well worth it. You know what would be good for, like, I don't know about bowling because you couldn't, but, like, if you... If you traveled for a living, if you did like you were like a traveling salesman or whatever, and you were in Buffalo for the weekend in a hotel, and you had one, you could pack it right in a bag. There's nothing to it. Yeah, it's not like a normal video game system. You could throw it in it's like a headset a, and two controllers. Uh, yeah, you could put it in a suitcase uh, or like a Walmart bag would be too big for it even. But you could bring that with you, your kids. So like you could be in Buffalo on your sales meeting or whatever at night in your hotel room playing bowling with your son or something. You know what I mean? It's so yeah, it's pretty cool. It, I could see it being a family thing. But anyways, I seen I'm it one, not, one other time. The only last time I checked out, though, I watched porn on it. And let me tell you what. So tell me about had, that because I, I never haven't... had such a big dick in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Does it show that? What is it? So how does was, VR yeah, porn work? I was, I was work? watching porn. It felt like I was right there in the scene. I can't do it because it's my kids. I could smell the sense. Thing. I could hear the. <laughs> <laughs> no, I felt like I was right there. I so might have got a chubby. Is it a movie or a video game? The porn? No, like, it's it's like you just go to the internet. It's like you're watching porn anywhere else. But it's. It puts you like almost like it feels like I'm right in it. Like it so, comes like up, if you turn it, your head to your left, you could see another girl doing something with another well, guy. You know, because you did it. So as you look around, it's like you're in a room. Like you're in if they're in a kitchen, we'll say you look around. You're in a kitchen scene with them. If it was, it was crazy. Okay, so you could they could be fucking in front of you. You could literally turn your body around with this on and look at like their oven. And the other, I, I touched her at one point and she yelled at me, so I had to go sit in the corner. <laughs> you're weird like that. <laughs> <laughs> Batteries on the remote died real quick. I was over there going like this. They, they didn't last too long. <laughs> so can you interact with any of that? I tried. Did I got, you? I got put in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you interact? It just no, doesn't I, allow I, I, you to? I, I'm being smart. I, it didn't really let you interact. It was just like you're watching it, but it's so like it's you're right a movie, there. Yeah, but like, you're in the it, scene. Yeah, it feels like you're right there. Okay. All right. I wonder if there's like interaction, if you could um, pick... Like, obviously, you're, you're not literally touching anybody, but I wonder if there's like you can pick, like move them, like... Point That'd be to pretty it, cool, or some fucking thing. I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah, that's cool. I never. Maybe we got to look into it. Maybe we'll create our own thing like that. Well, if I get my own Meta 
thing for like working out or doing whatever I want to do with it. I would definitely try that so I could tell the people at home, you know, my thoughts on it. But I can't because my kids are going to be playing this when I'm not around, so I got to keep it. Kids will walk in, Wes will be naked in the living room with a fucking headset and controllers yeah. on. Well, and you forget. Who's I don't know daddy? how you felt, but when I get doing it, like I get bowling, I forget that I'm in my fucking living room. I did, and then I took it off, and I was like, oh, I got all depressed. I was having fun. <laughs> Back here I with like Wes I was, again. I felt like I was at like town and country or something. I took the headset off. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yep. Here I am. You know, batteries died, and he's yeah. back to real world. Yeah, you get, yeah. you get, you forget that you're in. If anybody has, hasn't tried, you you forget that you're in the real. You know, it's you're still in the real your living room it's or whatever. Literally, like being if you drive to any bowling alley and walk inside to bowl, it, that's what it looks like in yep. your living room. So you can next time music uh, going. If we ever good. do it again, um, uh, we got different course, uh, different alleys, bowling alleys you can go to. Like there's one on a beach. There's like a real modern one. There's a fucking. If, if that thing's fully charged, how long? does... Because obviously it's not fully charged. So it kept dying on right. me. But if you gave it a full charge, was it last like four hours? So if that eight charged hours with... overnight, and then you picked it up in the morning, you'd probably get three solid hours, three to four solid that's... hours of ge- of being able to play boxing or whatever. And that's more than enough because it's. Fu- oh yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. Look at you did six rounds total. Oh yeah, I'm ready for a beer. I bet and... you could have probably done another three, and you'd have been like, okay, I'm done with this shit. Yeah, it's. it's a, I've been bragging lot. to him. I lost weight. He says, "We'll see what kind of shape you're in. Take a bo- go box, motherfucker." <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> but the thing uh. of it is, is the best part about, and that's why I say I think it's a better workout system than a fucking actual workout machine because you don't realize you're working out. You're like too busy worried about him, the other boxer swinging at you and fucking with you and shit. Yeah. Um, but, and like we said, back to the, to the, um, elliptical thing, you're basically, you're getting a cardio, but it's like your legs and stuff with the, mm-hmm. so the boxing in particular. I'm doing everything. I'm throwing punches. I'm, I'm moving. I'm working my whole entire body. Yes. Everything. Yeah, because Legs, if you, everything. Like if he's, if the guy swings at you, you can duck. So that's yeah. putting a lot of pressure on like your legs and your, your fucking whatever else is down there. Everything. I don't know nothing about working out, but yeah, you're getting a whole workout from that. Just like you would. You got, I'll tell you the first time I did it, two days later, I'm in the truck at work. I go to get out of the truck and my fucking hips were hurting me. My <laughs> shoulders hurting me. I'm like, holy fuck, man. That's probably age. Oh, it could be a- age mix with trying to box some little guy on a, Get out in of a bed, fucking ring. Cr- everything's fucking cracking and snapping. <clears throat> so I could see in the future, maybe not next episode, but I can see because I know Mike well enough. I've been friends with Mike a long time to know how this works. Unfortunately, and I bet you, I'm going to bet in the next four episodes. So that's a month. We'll be talking about how Mike ended up getting one. Uh, I'm betting. I don't know if it'll take four episodes. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be playing it tonight. I'll be getting a text. I'm, Dude, I stopped at Walmart the, on the way home from I'm, your house. That's what I was going to say. I'm stopping at Walmart on the way home. <laughs> oh, it's great. So it comes. There's some free games, you guys. I, I feel like I'm doing an advertisement for this, but I just I, I'm so you hear into that metal. It. You better sponsor us. Uh, really. And uh, I, I, I'm so into it that I like. I want other people to enjoy it. Like I had as much fun watching you play well, it as when I play it. Well, didn't you say too though? Like if I was at my house and had one, you and I could be in the yes. same bowling alley together. Yes. Yep. So that's so, that. That um, adds a different different. Yep. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but that adds to it as mm-hmm. well. I guess like the fun and the excitement. Yep. You know, I'd be like, hey, bud, get on there. Let's go bowling or something. Yes. So I doubt before we started the show, I let him try it a little bit before we started the show, but the battery was dying, so I put it on the charger. But I downloaded. Right now, it's downloading golf, and I want Mike, because me and Mike, we've talked about on the show, we go golfing in the summer, so what better to do when there's a fucking snowstorm on a Saturday morning, and you don't got to be to work or nothing, and it's cold and wind blowing and shit, Sit right here, drink call beer. up Mike and be like, hey, you want to go do 18 on fucking VR or whatever? I know it sounds kind of gay, but it's an actual workout. Like, it's a physical thing. It's fun. Yeah, something, something different. Right. And I guess the fun things don't always have to be fucking gay. At least I'm not at the bar spending my money there. I just, I'm not a video gamer. So when I play this, I feel like I'm being a video gamer, and that's re- I don't. I know. didn't really get that feeling though. It's, I think it's, it's different. D- so yes. I didn't get that right. that same feel. Even yeah. though it, maybe it is, maybe they do, you know. But I didn't. I didn't feel that way. I would say it's. I'm like, sure I look pretty stupid with the fucking thing coming off my head, and you know. Well, because I can't yes, see you to, looking at me, so I don't care. And, Fuck you. And I'll be honest, you look like a dumbass. But it's all, I know what you're doing in the game because I played it. But if somebody walked in and saw the motions you were doing, they'd be like, what in the fuck is wrong with I this guy? I think it'd be fun, too. I'd imagine like that boxing in particular. If we each had one, I'd, I would assume. We could box each other, I was I just going to say, I would assume. Yep. So. Yeah, that'd be a fun thing to do on a snowy morning It'd be no or different something. than real life. I'll kick the shit right out of you. <laughs> it won't hurt so bad, though, if you kick the shit out of me in this game. But they, so Watch how you talk to me, fella. Everybody knows Wii. Everybody had Wii Bowling. Wii, uh, what was in Wii Bowling? What was, remember the games, the main sports games? Because that's the only thing I the ever bowling, fucking did on Wii. Big, bowling was a big one I played. They had golf on there, too. Tennis, ping pong. Yep. I think, I uh, think they probably have, I bet you there's probably basically a, the same or similar games on here. Well, I have ping I, pong this, on this there, too. This is way more realistic, though. Yeah, that's like, the you're th- literally so, there. To, to, like a good example of what this is, this is Wii Bowling. 
on fucking steroids and you're mm-hmm. actually in it. So like if you're bowling and you turn around, there's people like having drinks at the bar behind you. It's and fucking you, crazy. It's a 360 view. So yes. I'm, I'm looking down the, the the alley to yep. bowl. If I turn around, there's a bar behind me with a bartender there. I mean, yes. people sitting there eating. It's, yeah. It's a 360 yep. view all around you. So it's like with Wii was on the television and you had the hand controls. This got the same hand controls, but they're more accurate and you're actually in it because of the 360 thing. So I don't know. I don't, I'm done fucking doing an ad for meta. Yeah, nobody's going to watch this episode. Four it's fucking cool, dude. If you guys get the chance or if like your kids have it and you're always like, fuck that thing, try it. You'll be fucking it's hooked. It's something to have fun with the kids. Absolutely. So. What have uh, What have you been up to? Yeah, we, we Not, haven't talked really. Well, you and me have, but as far as the people, the listeners, they haven't heard much from you since it's Christmas. And it's been quite a while. It's, I've missed a lot. But Christmas uh, went not, good. Not a lot, honestly. I just been working. I've been focusing on my health a little bit. My mm-hmm. diabetes, so I got that under control, which I did a while back. I remember I, I was off for mm-hmm. a while and I came back, but it's even better now. So I noticed, I, though. You know what? I didn't say anything to you, but I noticed you did really good on that. And then there was like a two month period where you were starting to like drink beer well, again I, I and plateaued. eat shitty again. Yeah, now yeah, it's hard. Well, winter yeah, time, sure. Winter time, it's hard though. Sure. What, do you, what else are you gonna do? Especially right. now, it's football. So Sundays come. I'm yep. I'm pizza and wings and, and the and holidays. Beer. Like your mom's like, come on over and have food yeah, with thanks, me. How what are you supposed to say? No, fuck Christmas. You? Exactly. Yeah. I eat like a fucking pig. So uh, it just happens. All of us. Now the holidays are over and uh, I, I'm back on it. So I'm doing better. I'm down 41 pounds. So I feel good. And total 41 pounds. Yeah, it's been about a year, but it's 41 pounds. I feel good. better than I ever did. Yeah. But I plateaued right there, so I'm teetering right there. Like the other day, I was up two pounds, but then today I was back down one and a half. So I'm that's staying, a, that's just I'm a good shit. Right, you I'm take a good right, shit and you lose them two pounds. Exactly. So I just gotta. Summertime comes, I exercise a little more. I started walking. That helped a lot. So mm-hmm. summertime comes, I'll walk. So that'll help. No, let's, but that's it. Other than that, just working and that's it. And uh, enjoying not being around you. It was actually nice. I'm but, glad you're doing the the, the health thing. I, I tell you, you've yeah. Uh, you don't want me around. I Here's don't. You, uh, you were cheering me out. You're like, Bob, you want me to uh, Uber some pizza and wings to you? I'm like, Bob, I can't have that. He's like, no, fuck your doctor. She doesn't yeah. know what she's talking about. I believe the 41 pounds thing, but I, it doesn't look it. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Can, <laughs> it all it all went to my cock. <laughs> oh, it came off your stomach and went to your yeah, cock. It just he, it just dropped. He texted me the other day. He's like, "Oh, dude." I get, <laughs> he's, I, he goes, "I get out of the fucking showers the first time I ever looked at it, see my dick." I said, "I actually do have one." <laughs> yeah, I, I think it was. Just, I ain't seen that fucker in thirty eight years. <laughs> I think it was just an ingrown hair, but he, he was happy, so we yeah, let him have don't, it. Don't piss on my parade, Fuck okay? It. Uh, we got some articles as you, the last episode, we talked about how we were the, the world's nicest vagina, the most oh, beautiful boy. vagina contest. And then we didn't get to it cause Matt had to go get his son or something like that. So, uh, the, the we're going to get to that first thing here. The, the, the M- Matty Sesdeli, I guess, right? I think that seems fair enough Sounds that I, good. yeah, that's close S- enough. Sesdeli, yeah, I don't, that's how I'd say it. Uh, the winner of the most attractive genitalia competition in Brazil Claimed that since winning the extraordinary prize, she has made an incredible fortune on OnlyFans. Well, sure, everybody's got to see what the hype is about now. You got to, yeah. you know, you got to just see it. That's what we've talked about. Ugly girls. You're going to go look at an ugly girl and give her the money just to see what the fucking yeah, hype you, is it's, all it's, about. It's uh, what's that saying? It's I can't remember. It's one of those things. That basically, you know, it ain't going to be worth it, but you got to do it. Yeah, you, you have you to just, look you anyway. Can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Curiosity kills the cat. You got to. You're do walking it. down the fucking sidewalk in a busy city, and somebody says, "There's a nine inch cock over there." Well, I don't give a shit I'm about seeing that a cock, fucker out, but my fucking head's going to go because I'm like, dude, there's a guy walking down the sidewalk with no fucking pants yeah. on. I got to see what the fuck's going on. And then I got arrested for having my pants down. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's the, <laughs> I, I shouldn't have sucked it, but <laughs> I mean, just look at it. You know, you have you naturally have to look at it. That's just natural instinct. You sure, see, you see a dick that big. What sure. are you gonna do? The sucking was on me, but the looking around—that's just natural. Oh, <laughs> uh, the winner of Brazil's uh, you're, most you're beautiful. You're, <laughs> you're fucking gay too. The winner of Brazil, not together though, not to be confused. (laughs) Let's not make a mistake here. (laughs) Be very careful. It's all how you word it. The winner of Brazil's most beautiful vagina competition is currently making a fortune on OnlyFans. The unconventional title, which well-known influencer Ana Otani organized, was won by Matty Sazdeli. Who who comes up with this? How do you even, how do you go about this? Like, let's create the most perfect vagina competition. And who... Who are the contestants? Like I could create, we could create that right now in the show. Yeah, let's do a back and forth. Uh, pick five girls, pick who the the best, and give them like a hundred dollars prize or something like that. But there, nobody's gonna come here and just spread their fucking legs on the table and be like, "Look, am I a winner?" Well, not for a hundred bucks. That's true. <laughs> Money does talk. Yeah. Well, actually, we know a couple. That yeah, that's true. <laughs> we could probably they'd get pro- it. They'd yeah. probably pay us. Yeah, really. Uh, the unconventional title, which well-known influencer Ani Atani organized, was won by Maddie Ma- Sazdeli. The model has now disclosed that she makes uh, 
20, a lot of money. 2,370 <laughs> euro every single, every several hours on the site for adults. She got a pretty face. She looks cute. I think right now euros is, euros and dollars are about the same now, I believe. Like, what's that BRL 15,000 mean? I think that's, that's Brazilian money. Oh, okay. I believe, but I'm guessing at that. Fuck, I ought to go to Brazil. I'd be the, rich. Uh, the bombshell vic- victory in v- Vagina Mas Bonita, Brazil helped further her profession as a seller of explicit photos. She said, I can say that I earned uh, 2,370 euros in a matter of hours, but the attractive woman woman also insisted that building her business enterprise didn't happen overnight and that it required time. I don't think she's horrible. I don't think she's... I wouldn't fucking... You know, if somebody said she's walking down she, the sideway, she the has the most beautiful vagina, out, so I have to fuck her at least once. I, I just want to see, regardless of her, I want to see what the world's most beautiful vagina looks like. Exactly. What could it possibly look like? I mean, they all basically look the same. Some have a little more hangy than others. Some yeah, don't. Some of them got the curtain. Some don't. Yeah, but what's the... So, uh, uh, to me, the most beautiful vagina would be like a, a tucked in one, mm-hmm. right? Is that mm-hmm. you too? You I don't feel want the same it that way? it looks like it puked and stuff. I don't, I don't really yeah. like that. I don't mind if it does. It's it's not a super like turn off or nothing, but I guess if we're going for uh, the most beautiful one. Plus, uh, they the lips when they're hanging, they wrap around you and they like suffocate you. Oh, yeah. yeah it's like, geez, I can't breathe. Witches have, witches have big, uh, they have a lot of hangy shit. <laughs> oh, on do them. they? <laughs> yeah, it helps them get suction on the broom. <laughs> We talked to Michelle about that. It's like uh, glue. Yeah, we asked her about that. Uh, in, case they gotta do any, in case they got to do any fast maneuvering. She didn't know that. No, and she didn't. She was a witch. So you taught her something? I think so. I asked her why. She said, I'm not sure. And I mm. told her, I said, you get better grip Has on the broom. Has she fallen off her broom lately? Uh, she's still around. <laughs> so I got to assume. No, <laughs> she's must, still alive. Must be working. Michelle, you're still healthy and doing good, correct? It seems like you have to get a hold of us and let us know if that's been working out for you or not. Uh, I don't see how it couldn't. I, absolutely it makes sense like them suction cups you put on a window it's the same thing there's already moisture there absolutely suck right to you'd have to get a decent size broomstick probably to get the i mean earl oh, oh shit yeah well i don't know how i guess if you had a little push you could do a little stick i don't know i don't know how all that works i, don't, I haven't really looked into the physics of this yet <laughs> little but, puss little stick big yeah. stick big puss i don't know whatever right. do <laughs> does size matter michelle does, <laughs> yeah. does broomstick size matter does it really <laughs> Uh, she added, people think it's easy, but involves a lot. There is a company behind it. Oh, yeah. You know? It's real hard to just drop your pants and show off your perfect puss. Yeah, right. That's you real to, hard. You don't even have to... Right. You just... You, you, you pull your pants off, sit in front of yeah. a mirror, and take a couple of it's pictures. Just, but it's just not that easy. It's it's not that easy. <clears throat> I do the same thing with trucks, and I can tell you it's not all that hard. <laughs> like, I, t- I mean, I do a little editing. Sure, it takes a little bit of time, but it, ain't, it doesn't take all that... It's not no. that difficult. I most certainly do it for 2,700 euros a fucking... Every couple hours. Shit, yeah. Who wouldn't? Uh, and then it just basically goes over the same thing as it just did. What is this post? View this post on Instagram. Is this going to be nudity? Oh, uh, one could only hold. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, wow, no. she looks good there. Yeah, she's not bad looking. I'm not a redhead fan, but she's not bad. She's okay. Now, what did I, I do it once? What did I do here? Was there other ones of them we could show people? Was there, yes, there was. I thought so. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, okay. Now yes. we're getting somewhere. Yes, sir. So she's she's good looking. I, I tell you, she's working on getting my vote already. <laughs> she's, I ain't even seen she's it. already got nineteen ninety five from him. He's yeah. working. He's got his wallet out <laughs> under the table now as we speak. But yeah, she ups that fucker to thirty nine ninety five. I'm still paying. <laughs> We're gonna have to decide if he wants the meta too, or if he's just gonna spend all his yeah. money on the fucking. Sorry, Bob, I couldn't get it. You see the puss on this girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, she's hot in that picture. Uh, let's go back to that. Let's <laughs> let's double check, make sure I was correct. I oh was. yeah, she's still hot. What's the arrow? Is there another one? Does it let you switch pictures? Look at they got. Um, I think so. B- regardless of knowing she's got the world's nicest vagina, she. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh lord, look at Hello. the took us on that. Look Betsy. at the fucking turd cutter. She could be named Betsy. I'd still do her. Would you eat the corn out of it or no? Yeah. Oh shit. Would you? Oh shit. Yeah. She's <laughs> she's pretty hot in that one. I'll give it to her on that. Regardless, she could have a big old hangy. She finds out I'm a pro- professional boxer. She'll be all about me. Oh, oh, that's right. I could subscribe for free. Yes. I bet you I get that special link you that they so? can send you where you can subscribe for free and you don't have to pay. Oh, uh, because oh, of your boxing yeah, career. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she likes celebrities and shit. So. Yeah. My vagina kind of does look like roast beef. Uh, <laughs> probably not her. Yeah, she's not pretty, according to the competition. The only thing is she's a little bigger, <laughs> but the, it's not bothering me in that with her for some no, reason. No, she's proportioned well, I yes, guess. It's yes. Yes. That's a good way to look at it. Know. She's a little bit bigger of a girl, but everything is works out just right. 
Yeah, I'm okay with it. I like her tattoo choice. She doesn't have a lot spread out all over the place. She's just got one tasteful one done on her hip here. What would you rate her? Ooh, one to ten. Uh, in that picture or in general? Uh, well, overall, I guess. Because that one with the Daisy Dukes well, on, exactly. we're getting up towards eight and a half, nine. Yeah, on that let, one. let's do an overall. So we've seen like three, four pictures. So overall, overall, I'm gonna go with a seven, seven and a half, seven, probably towards the seven side of that. I think I would go with at least an eight. Really? I think she's pretty cute. Yeah. A couple of them because Lair, I do too. I think she looks good there. I like I it. I do too. I like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, but then I get, I think about like that. She's not, well, she's not, actually, she's not, it's not too bad there either. Let's see what this Instagram one is. Uh, she's pretty good. She's not as good yeah, looking in that one, she's but. She's getting an eight from me all day. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to stick with my seven to seven. And a half. I don't know if I'm going to stick with that lower seven side. The, maybe I'll go with a seven and a half, but yeah, she's not bad. Anyway, her name is, uh, what was her name? Sustelli or Sustelli or whatever it was. Remember yeah, the last time Ollie Sustelli yeah, or some whatever. fucking thing. Where We're really it? testing yeah. our uh, English here with this this article. It's M-A. If you guys want to search, you guys are driving along or whatever, do not use your phone while you're driving. But if you wanted to anyway and didn't want to listen to us, it's M-A-I-T-E is her first name. M-A-I-T-E. Put this right in Google. Last name is Sustelli, I think. S-A-S-D-E-L-L-I. So... There you go. Don't you do could, it around your wife unless you, could, you want a divorce. Yeah, or if your wife is into the, if she maybe your wife might leave you for her. Do not tell her that you're, she has a nicer puss than your wife, though. Oh God, no, no, uh, no, no. She added, "People think it's easy, but it involves a lot." There's a. Oh, we already fucking did this. So she may, on OnlyFans she makes three hundred or forty seven thousand. <throat> I'm gonna say dollars. It's euros, but I think the euros and dollars are about the same now. So just to give the listeners like easy fucking an idea. Yeah, it's. I mean, how far can I be off? A thousand bucks. Still, she's making forty-seven. Even if she's I'm making wrong, a lot of fucking money. She's making a lot of fucking money every month. Every month, forty-five. Good, good for her. Thousand a month. Basically, she's making off the of, and she ought to. She's got the world's most beautiful. She says, as I said, there is a company behind it. It as it is a business. Uh, it is not as easy as just showing up and producing content that will make money. Well, well I'm pretty t- sure it is. T- right. I mean, Tell us why we were wrong for this, I, for thinking let me, this. Let thing. me rephrase that. I'm sure it is for her. What is she doing? She's just showing up doing it. Everybody else has got to do the editing or producing or right. whatever. So it is she, that it's, easy. It's, in my for opinion, her, it's as easy as shaving when she showers that morning, going over and taking her pants off and just moving her legs around where the photographer tells her to. Yeah. That's That's, it. that's that. Done. Um, Boy, we're in a wrong fucking business. We sure are. Wish I had a puss. Uh, Anna Otani. Yeah, I wish you had one too. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be gay? Yeah. No. Yeah, well, well, I don't no. know, but you're still not, Mike. Not together. I, not no, together. Not to, no, yeah, don't get that confused. <clears throat> Ani Otani, a YouTuber with 1.2 million followers, organized the most beautiful vagina contest in Brazil. On social media, she publishes articles on relationships and sex. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I'd like to find that and look into that. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. That's funny you said that. I'm going to look up on YouTube because if it's on YouTube, it's got to be safe for me to put it on YouTube. Exactly. If it's already there. Right. So remember that name, Ana Otani. We're going to look her up on YouTube. kind of a unique name, so it should be pretty... All of a sudden, Pornhub pulls up. We know what you were doing last. Ana Otani. Pod, she got a, she's got a podcast. Oh boy! Let's see she what. Better it, watch it. Uh, it's not in English, though, is it? Well, put put uh, add that in, and then put in. Oh, you're trying to find that? Yeah. Oh, like, there was one. It's okay it to like, be so stressed. I don't know what this. Is go- I don't know if this is even it. Someone about it, and by that I mean. Well, it was relationship and sex <laughs> tips or something, wasn't it? Oh, was it? So she gives all sorts of shit. I think that's how I was understanding it. Let's see what it says here. Vamos falar sobre esse concurso então. <laughs> that doesn't even. Oh, oh, that's a different girl. That's oh, that's not the same girl. Saber right. detalhes. Da onde primeiro? Da onde saiu essa work. ideia de fazer o concurso? Poxa. This is actually us. We, we are we are bilingual. Assim. We can talk different languages. Um, yeah. Vários that's you. vídeos com amigas. Talking right now. <laughs> Why do I got to be a fucking girl? Amigas que vendem conteúdo já gravei alguma coisinha. I don't know. We don't, there's there's some listeners that know what that is, but I think the majority of us have no clue what's going on there, so I can't. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't anyway. Know. Whoa, boy. Oh yeah. Holy we're we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Son of a bitch. Uh, popularity on websites like OnlyFans or blah, blah blah. We did that. We checked that out. She does a business. We know that. Uh, on Otani, yeah, we already on social media. She publishes articles on relationships and sex. I can understand that being some work, but this is a whole other girl. This is Ana Otani. This yeah. is not the fucking well, girl. She's the, the organizer of it. Right. I can understand the organizer would have some work ahead of her. She's got to figure everything out and, and get. But I don't understand. We already see this probably. So the, yeah, we ain't seen that. Okay, That's, never hurts to check it out more. Well, than she looks once. like the Ivy from uh, Batman. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. After getting nymphoplasty surgery to appease her boyfriend before their breakup in 2020, Anna initially made the news. So, wait, so I she doesn't like, even have a natural vagina? In it, in, well, that's why it's perfect. Because I mean, it was made. Fuck? It's man-made. That actually makes me not as happy about this girl. Like, she had a, like, I could have a nice vagina if I fucking had surgery. You do. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. You like how it turned out? It's, yeah. not, it's not the prettiest I've seen, but it's okay. <laughs> it's not, what I, no con. I wouldn't win any contest, you know? No, think? I'll probably, not a court, not against her. Yeah. I'd build mine so it took little broomsticks. Yeah. I would have no traction. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she, <laughs> the wintertime, you're coming right off that fucker. Oh, yeah, wouldn't need chains. Uh, she then... Attempted to sell her virginity at auction for 109,000 euros. So figure about $100,000 after undergoing surgery to rebuild her hymen. That's what I'm going to start. I would like to I'll start. I'll rebuild her hymen. Yeah. I finally just found my dick and she's going to get it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. She's finding it along with you. That I've never taken great. so many showers in my life. <laughs> I found that fucker, man. I love taking a shower. I get in there and just, I, anybody will play you with just it. Look I look down. I didn't even know. I, no, I touch it and stuff. I didn't even know I oh, had it. Oh, you touch it? I didn't know I had it. Oh, until recently. <laughs> How do you pee What'd before? you do when you were 12 years old and found it for the first time? Oh, I touched it. Well, there you Good go. Point. I'm 38 and found it for the first time. Now I fucking touch it. Good point. I get it now. Well, How did you pee before? It just Luck? ran. It, I can't, I sat and it, I, I'm assuming it must have just ran down my balls. Oh, you'd sit. Yeah. Okay. I get yeah. It. I thought maybe you put like you pointed your big toe into the toilet and just ran down. <laughs> and down my leg and everything. The, yeah. It trickled yeah, like off the end. Like a funnel effect. Just, yes. Yep. Yep. I could try that. Yeah, oh, well, if you didn't want it. But your yeah. sitting thing seems to be working. Yeah. Well, you don't have to now. That's true. Anyway, you've solved all this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, she thought her followers were getting tired of seeing her vagina. Anna assigned herself the task of locating Brazil. Oh, because she thought her followers were getting sick of seeing hers. Anna assigned herself the task of locating Brazil's most attractive vagina. vagina. Okay, so that the fake vagina girl is, is the, the organizer. Yes. So this then, girl, so we're back. This girl's yes, got a real one. Yes, we're so back we like to her liking again. her okay. again. She's safe. On November 28, 2001, Maddie, a Rio de Janeiro native, won first place with 53% of Anna's subscribers' votes. Damn. Uh, oh, well, that's it. Wow. Ooh, boy, Look at that uh, big old fat fucking. Get that. I told you not to show anybody that. <laughs> that's not you. You're skinny now. Unless you're a boxer. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. And don't forget it. Yes. Yeah, so if you guys got to want to check out this girl's vagina, uh, I obviously can't bring it up here and show you guys because of YouTube, but uh, Maddie, M-A-I-T-E, Sassdelli, S-A-S-D-E-L-L-I, is the girl you're going to be looking for. Uh, and and let us know. If you check it out, let us know. Yeah, we, tell we, us what you think. I want to know. You know what? Go on Facebook, guys, and leave. maybe I'll make a, a post. I'm going to make a post right now while we're doing the show, and you guys will know this. We'll get somebody. Uh, somebody will check it out. They ha it's half the curi curiosity. Yes. You have yep. to. How do you not? I'm going to put you, this on here right now. You, you can't pass that up. What you. constitutes a good looking, a perfect looking, vagina. perfect looking, yep, looking. The doctor doing the surgery? Vagina. Yeah. Question mark. We're going to go big. Oh, boy. Next. Big letters post. It's on there. Of course, you guys are going to see it now, and then in two days the show is going to come out. But so this post They'll is where get it I want. When they listen to the show in two days, they go, "Oh, right." That's... You go right. You're exactly. So you hear this in two days. Some people will probably answer now, but not understand. But in Monday, when you guys listen to the show or Tuesday, go onto our Facebook page, Back and Forth Podcast. It is, and the this post will be on there. Leave in the comments what makes it, a. If, if you guys actually want to, if you think your wife or girlfriend has a better looking vagina, feel free to post it to show yes. us. We will judge it for you. Yes. We will actually let you know. It's not anything to be sexual. This I'm, is actually, I'm not trying to just yes. get pictures of your girlfriends and wives. Pussies, right. No, okay? we're pretty I'm, scientific about yeah, this. What we're I'm trying just, to be. It, it's an outsider view. We'll do that for you. We'll give you an honest opinion of yes. what we think. Yep. Um, even if you want to send it to our private messages so we can save it for our private. Yep. I mean, so we can get it and nobody else. You sees can actually, it. or just send your wife. <laughs> yeah, Even, we'll test we'll it out firsthand. If she's shy, I mean, and we'll just do again. It. No, nothing personal. It's just no. you know we're we're here to we're gonna just, we're gonna start our own contest. That's what yeah, we're gonna that's do. What, here. We're, we're, we ought to. Yeah, and that's gonna happen. We ought to. So anyway, uh, this could also be actually a, a, like a nice gift. You know, like if you buy your wife a nice necklace, you're not gonna tell her until her birthday. You could have like take a, the pictures, 
Send them to us. We'll rate them, and then you can. But don't tell her. And if she wins, you can have like a charm made that says the most beautiful yes. vagina. Yes. It took go with her. We'll necklace. work with you if you guys are trying to. Subs- you know, you want to surprise her and don't want her to know that you're sending the pictures yeah, to yeah. us. Yeah. We will work we, with we you. We won't on tell this. anybody. Absolutely not. So absolutely not. Uh, yeah. So that's that. So send your pictures and, and photos of your wife's and girlfriends, Please. and uh, or your mom. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, <laughs> grandma, mom, your aunt. Fuck I don't it. fucking care. Yeah. It's it's all <laughs> Send for the, your it's, fucking dog. Matt will be back then, maybe. I don't. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. You say whatever the fuck you want. But on our page, I want you to always go to on there and comment on there what makes the best looking vagina to you. Not inside, not like tight or loose. We're not talking like just if you're just looking at a vagina ahead of you, uh, what. What makes that? What makes it good? Like, do you guys like them to hang out? Do you guys like them to be tucked in? What do you? Do you? Uh, we probably got some listeners still like them to smell like pee. Yeah. So we got to be a little careful. Jesus but Christ, creeps. Yeah, don't be creep. Don't be pedophilist about it. I just made yeah. that word up, but it sounded Pedoph- that pedophilist. Pretty, yeah, yeah. Don't be a pedophilist about it. <laughs> a pedophilist. Yeah. Don't be fucking disgusting. And that's it. That's the end of the show now. <laughs> yeah, forever. We've, yeah, we've, we've now officially been banned. <laughs> yeah. My first show back in I don't know how many episodes, and we're fucking banned. All it takes is you here. And that, yeah, well, I think the FBI's knocking yeah, on the fucking door right now. Thanks. We should be safe because I told people not to because that's not oh, what we're into. Fair. We're not into but do it wasn't, not. It wasn't one of those fucking... Uh, the dog I meant. Send that because Matt will like <laughs> not that. Not to be confused. Not to be... But the others, don't be fucking weird with, uh, you know. Yeah. Cause you're gonna get you're gonna get yourself in trouble, really, because you got the fucking pictures. And send that fucking bullshit to us. Anyway, Maddie uh, Sestelli, Sestelli, she's her. Check her out. I'd like to see hers too. This girl here. Yeah, she she's looks just cute. An Originally, ad, I thought that was her, and then I realized it was an ad. So I yeah. got a little disappointed. But uh, six strangest objects people were caught having sex with. Oh boy, this ought to be good. And we see the what's the strangest thing you've ever fucked? Did you ever fuck anything like a teddy bear a when female. you were a kid? They're <laughs> fucking strange. Let me tell <laughs> yeah, you. Hey, the, you can't ever yeah. understand them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who yeah, you are. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, it's the strangest and the fucking most difficult, let me tell you. <laughs> oh my they, god. They really fuck you. Yeah, one way or another. Yeah. Uh the first the number six here on the list, apparently we were counting this down. I should have got a fucking water. Uh we're counting this down. A picnic table. What about splinters? Well, you know, this is what is becoming a thing. Remember the girl who was having sex was married to that willow tree? Yes. And fucking the willow tree? Yes. Apparently this is bigger than we think it is. Yeah. Must be. I, uh, no, UK. That's why. Here we go. There it goes. This, nothing has changed with this. It says something about relationships between the UK and America when the Telegraph publishes the headline... Oh, no, it's American. Sorry. Sorry, UK. <laughs> fuck that up. I jumped to conclusions on that. Yeah, we said, we, America said, fuck you, UK. Hold up, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, American caught having sex with picnic tables. Seriously, does it matter where the guy was from? Oh, this is a guy? Oh. This makes me think. Remember that guy that had sex with his car? Yep. Yep. But to be honest with you, as weird and fucked up as that is, I can get it. You got like the tailpipe or whatever. a picnic table. Yeah, what are you going to write? Yeah. You'd have to drill maybe a hole, maybe like a knot hole or something. Well, that's I where don't the, know. Maybe where the umbrella goes. Oh, or that. <laughs> yeah. Which, yeah. Which cut you'd, you'd want that umbrella if it was the sun. Imagine your back. You don't want to get fucking, a sunburn while you're fucking sure. the table. Look like a fucking lobster. <laughs> Us. American lobster fucks picnic that's table. That's right. Uh, so actually, it doesn't sound all that odd now. Maybe yeah. I'll try it. You got so, a picnic table ranch sure laying do. around here somewhere, don't you? Yeah. Does what I fucking tell it to, too. <laughs> Goddamn right. So what if one guy's pursuit of happiness took the form of sticking his schlong inside? I'm so glad they use the word schlong in this that article. That makes it better. It makes me like this article already. <laughs> uh, he had... Well, oh inside the umbrella hole of a picnic table. It's, oh, I you were right. S- I swear we've never it's done as this. as if you've done this. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done this, I promise. <laughs> oh this my article God. is not about me. <laughs> Jesus, uh, do not bitch. such things transcend borders? After all, isn't this the sort of thing that could happen to anybody? Maybe a girl had been there just moments ago and rolled away at the last minute. Maybe it was dark. Well, now, then follow the fucking girl. Yeah, dude, you don't, like, if you're fucking a girl and she rolled off that table and then you started fucking a whole, wouldn't you, you've noticed the fucking difference. No way in my mind. There was just a girl at the strawberry aisle at Price Chopper. I didn't start fucking strawberries. <laughs> yeah, really. Really? <coughs> After all, isn't that sort of thing uh, that could happen to anybody? Maybe a girl had just been there. Oh, I already read that. These would be all reasonable you suspicions. You lose track easily. I'm glad I to sure see that do. hasn't changed. Yeah, that's still here. Focus. 
<laughs> oh, stop. Take a breath. Did you take your meds today? Yes. Well, yeah. they're not helping. No, they're you not. You might want to up them. Well, I stopped for a little while now. I'm getting Oh, out. yeah. They take a while to kick back oh, in. Yeah, that's just what's happening. These would be would all be reasonable suspicions. Sup, suppositions. That's not suspicions. What's that word? I suppose it. Suppo- yeah, I don't know. Suppositions. Unless it's a typo. You know our luck with these oh, articles. Yeah. It's... Nothing's either changed we're really either. fucking stupid or these people can't write. It's one right. of the two. And I'm going to have to go with it's them. Guys, uh, people listen. It's S-U. This is spell it. Write this down. S-U-P-P-O-S-I-T-I-O-N-S. And then tell me what the fuck that... Su- supposition. Am I yeah. just a dummy? Like, is this a word that's maybe really easy word, and I'm just fucking... Maybe it's a word and we just never heard it. Like Suppositions. Supposition, supposition. I don't know. Supposition. What word did I say when I thought I was reading it correctly? Sup- suppositions. I thought or something. Suspicions. Like. That's what I thought it was. Actually, these would all be reasonable suspicions if the story didn't. I think that's what it's supposed to. Be. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Uh, didn't say that the guy boned the picnic table on four separate occasions and for hours on end. How do we know that? This would be thanks to the neighbor who secretly taped him each time. Also for oh, so this is a new thing now. Now, who uh, is the bigger weirdo here? Yes. The guy fucking the table or the guy recording the, the guy fucking the table? Yep, and I want to get. To, I want to figure this, this out right that's now. That's pretty good. Who, who, in your that's opinion, do question. you think, if I had to pick, I would say probably the guy fucking the table. Yeah. Uh, you know why? Because I'd want to show all my friends, like, you wouldn't believe, look what this guy's doing. He's fucking a t check. It's one of those things. I get that. You see okay. a nine inch fucking cock going down the street. You got to right. check it out. If I came here, I was like, dude, I just caught my neighbor fucking a table before I came up here. You're going to be like, dude, let me see that. Yeah, I got yes. to check it out, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, how's he fucking table? Well, that, like, even here, I'll show you. Like, you have no interest in watching a guy fuck a table, but I'd be like, I don't fucking believe you. Let you me see, gotta it. see it. Right. You so, got to. All right. right. Yeah, we're still, so, I'm on board with you. The guy. Fucking the table is that's, still the weirdo. Yeah, Here. I, I would agree. I have to. That's I don't what know I if go I with. agree with how the guy recording recorded every single time and the entire hour hours, multiple hours. Yeah, I would get session. bored. I would get bored after a while. But I think I would record like ten minutes there. just so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he got bored too. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, Let's be a little fucking yeah. Serious I would. Here, I would okay? uh, if we're talking about trees and and wood fucking and stuff, I would probably record for ten minutes and, and leaf. I got to tell you, yeah. since we started doing this show and getting into these articles and stuff, though, the deeper we go down this rabbit hole, I will call it, of articles, it makes me realize that any fantasy I've ever had makes me way more normal than any of these fucking. Oh yeah, I've never desired to fuck a picnic table. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I feel so normal, and it just makes me... Remember the guy that was in a relationship with all them balloons? Yeah, like... And oh, he had the a, airplane, but, the but girl he had was... A, he had a wife, though. Yeah. So, what is it, what's that say about his wife? It's like, oh, we're happily married. Yeah, he just, you know, loves balloons and fucks balloons. or Like, what? You're yeah, okay at with, what point is the wife... You're just as fucking yes. weird. Yeah, I agree. You're just as fucking weird. I agree. At what point do you go, I can't be with this guy anymore? He's He thinks that balloon... He's yeah, in he's, love with balloons. Yeah, and he's in a relationship with balloons. To be like, uh, Peggy, your husband is a little weird, don't you think? <laughs> like, what? I could hear, no, I'm, I love him. Yeah. He's, this is not weird. Well, yeah. I don't, I've never met anybody else that was fucking their yeah, balloons. Yeah. I, I don't get it. Peggy. So they, Yeah, Peggy. Peg. F- fucking weirdo. Margaret. <laughs> 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 fucking Susan. Yeah. Suzifer. <laughs> It'd be fucking weird. God almighty. This world is going right to shit. Oh, boy, is it. Now, filming it the first time is understandable. You just want to have evidence for when the cops say there is no way some guy is fucking Oh, the so table. the guy records a fucking rat. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't like him no more. Yeah. Yeah, you don't rat. You show your friends it's a weird thing. You don't call the fucking cops. Yeah, snitches get stitches. Although I guess I would if like my kids were sitting at the picnic table at the same time. Fuck them. They should have picked a different table. <laughs> right. You go. You, right. My kids are gonna learn real quick if some guy starts yeah. fucking the picnic table. You take your fucking sub at, somewhere else. You get the fuck out of there. Yeah. That's what you guys should be teaching your kids. Don't talk to strangers and don't sit at the same picnic table with some weirdo fucking it. <laughs> That's the thing that needs to be taught to your children. What? <laughs> Tune in next week for more life lessons. Yeah, <laughs> from back and forth. Absolutely. Now, son, if this happens, oh All right. my god. Well, this is shit that you know parents need to start teaching their kids. And if they did, maybe guys wouldn't grow up to have fetishes for picnic tables. I guess I right because they wouldn't see it done as children and exactly. think it was okay exactly. when they get older. Exactly. So now, now this le- is a, 
We're going down the road. Now it leads me to believe the parents are at fault here. fault for this, yes, yes. Because you don't give a fuck. You let your kids play on their tablets and shit all fucking day. You let them sit at picnic tables when their other weirdos are fucking the hole in the top you of it. And you just don't give a fuck. You know what? If you can't control your fucking kids, stop having picnics. Correct. Right? Period. Correct. Simple as that. Yes. I don't know. I don't know how else the dice is. It's the parents' fault. I'm disgusted. <laughs> I'm disgusted in this. Yeah. We don't tolerate to be honest, this shit. No, we don't at all. Terrible. So, who, so we've decided what? This guy's parents are at fault for this? Absolutely. Apparently, he saw somebody fuck a table somewhere. And their parents didn't give a fuck Maybe to move him. Maybe his dad did it. Maybe his wife left him and he resorted to table. And now his son thinks it's okay because daddy does it. That would be almost like an incest type of thing. If it's the same table. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, maybe we're the fucked up ones. <laughs> oh, for sure. There's no doubt in my mind. Oh, for sure he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Parents really are fucking up our youth. Yeah. You got kids walking around like they're cats. You got kids sitting at picnic tables watching dudes fuck the hole, and the parents don't care. I'll tell you what. It must not have been a very good fuck picnic table because that guy doesn't look too happy. <clears throat> no, no. If I was a picnic table, I wouldn't have fucked him. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you that. Look at him. I got to tell you right now. <laughs> That's yeah. not good looking enough to fuck me if I was a picnic Hell table. Hell no. Uh, now filming it I'd in the tell first him to time. Take his wood elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know I, I don't even care anymore I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight There's no way I tell you when I, I got a whole new set of lessons for my kids though Yeah. Uh, yeah first thing I get down there I'm telling them mm -hmm. listen listen here yep. maybe you show them the article and be like this is real life Yes. I'm not just making this shit yeah, up no, this I'm not just happens. trying to be a fucking jerk this yeah, I'm not trying to ruin real your life. fun I want you to live your life right, and go to the park have yeah, your sub absolutely. at the table I yes. get it just don't fuck the tables. Correct. Or eat or, at the table while the guy's right, fucking it. Right. If somebody else starts, even if it's not you, bud, even if it's not you, oh, we got, I think we got... Uh, we got what, a, what, do you got a new sound here? Uh, well, I thought... Our, I thought... What yeah. would you do? Well, as serious as we could be now. Yes, let's... What would you do if you went to the park and caught a guy fucking a table? Would you record it? Would you act like you didn't even see it, turn, walk the other way, or would you like secretly keep watching? Or in your mind, you'll go, I'm not, you're going to turn, you're not going to watch this, but you're going to keep peeking periodically to see if he's still going. What would you do? I'm going to turn away. I'm going to turn away and I'm going to act like I never saw it. Unless my kids are with me. And then I'm going to use it as an example say, listen, do not fucking do this. Yes. But oh, fair enough. I'm but you don't think you would keep, like, every so often just kind of... Like, yes. He's yes. still going. Yes. I would turn away and act like I didn't see it. I seen it. Yeah. yeah. I you, seen You're never going to forget that now. So you, what, you, the damage is already done. Yes. At this point, I'd sit down in my chair that I brought, probably a, you know, Walmart folding chair. Mm -hmm. That way, I could, get, that way I could get the angle. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm standing and this guy's fucking the hole in the top of the picnic table, I can't see. You want to see underneath, too, to see if I it's coming see through? I want to come through. Fair enough. So you well, can kind of Wouldn't you? Yeah, I gotta agree. Because if he had a small dick, I'm making fun of him. Right, but because I'm not the only one. But I'm gonna turn. I want. So if this is the picnic table here, I'm turning this way, sideways. Yeah, just side. So you can still. Just I want to be perpendicular. Is perpendicular the right word? Yes, I think. I want to be perpendicular with the. Yeah, that would the, be that would be running with him. Yeah. Yes, parallel or parallel. I want to be parallel with the table. That way, I can my everything that I'm doing is off this way. So you kind of you don't even have to Correct. move your head, and you can go right out of the corner of your eye like this. Absolutely and just, right. You can see. Absolutely right. What yeah. would you do? I, I I think I would do that same same thing. type of thing. Yeah, I really because I feel like if I this turn, way we can enjoy I, seeing. I feel like if I turn my back completely, be like oh my god, and act like I never saw it. I know curiosity is going to get me, and then I'm going to have to do one of these. Yeah. And now everybody's going to go. That guy's weird. He's watching that. He's guy watching this table. guy. He's as weird as that now guy. I'm the guy he, recording. Apparently, his father or mother didn't teach him that yeah. this is not right to exactly. watch. Exactly. Or my mom left my dad, and he fucked tables, and I saw it, and now I right. kind of got a fetish. I'm kind of like, oh, that looks fun. And the last thing you want by looking over there like that is for people to think your parents are weird. And then it leads to a fight, Correct. mind you, because this guy's fucking my table. And what he fails to realize, I'm a fucking boxer. Yes, you <laughs> so, are. Okay. Yes, you I'm are. I'm telling you right now, you don't touch my wood. Yep. All right? Mm -hmm. So this, yeah, it could, it could all go bad. I hope I don't ever see a guy fuck a table at the park. No, me neither.
Yeah, just, I'm hoping just that doesn't it's happen. It's going to lead to problems that I don't need, and, and I, I just can't have that in my life right now. So No. So what's our overall thing? Are we not going to fuck picnic tables, or are we? Man, we can't rule it out. <laughs> Never say There's, never. No, I mean. Yeah, you never know if that comes. <laughs> uh, I, I guess there's always that possibility. Anyway, uh, this guy's uh, now filming it the first time is understandable. You just want to have evidence for when the cops say show everybody. there is no way some guy is fucking a picnic table. Yeah, I'm going to disagree. Like we said, it's not for the cops. It's for Bub. I seen yeah. this guy fucking at a picnic exactly. table. Somebody didn't teach him correctly, and I want you to see what not to let your children do. Exactly. Uh, but I'm not involving the cops. I could give two right. shits. I don't. Right. I'm not going to get the guy in fucking trouble over no. jam him up over this. Something's wrong with him already. He's got enough problems. If he's yeah. fucking a picnic table, he's got enough fucking problems. He don't need the cops. Yeah, there. exactly. But somewhere after Besides, this, you know what happens to guys that fuck picnic tables in jail? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't but, either. But I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were asking? <laughs> I was, yeah. <laughs> imagine it wouldn't be good. No, I can't imagine it would. You know? uh, uh, but somewhere after the probably second rot away time, in there. Uh, sure. Somewhere after the second time, the overall impression you you give off goes from disgusted to intrigued. Thank you very much. We said, and we have not read this in advance. No, I I have not. We never do. You said it. You weren't even here. I didn't read it, and I was here, but I didn't read it. See, so it's not just us. It goes from disgusted to intrigued. To I'm telling you, none of our listeners could see this happening and not fucking watch. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we might have embellished a little bit with the whole angle thing and all that shit. Well, of course. But in real life. If I seen a guy fucking a picnic table, I would have to. I couldn't get my fucking I, eyes off. I'm of it. willing to bet if you saw that, anybody listening, I guarantee you would at least look back and peek at least three to four more times. I was going to say twice, but I give it. I'll give it yeah. to you. Yeah. I, I, it I, makes no difference. Have it's to. the same thing. Yep. You have to look back. I know I would. You, I don't give a yeah, fuck. I ain't embarrassed to say it. The, I, There's a dude fucking a picnic table yeah, behind me. He, How can I keep just walk away like this is nothing? <laughs> exactly. There's no way. You don't see that every day. No. No, you don't. You so, might start seeing it more often now. I'll tell you. I'm but, staying out of Thatcher Park. <laughs> uh, yeah, really. So it goes from disgusted to intrigued to, damn it, it's almost midnight. Where are you, that you you table-defiling stallion? <laughs> <laughs> These people seem a lot like us. They're getting right into it. Yeah. A look at it. Just begging for your mighty lance of flesh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they went full. We went full circle with these people. We yes, did the we same did. fucking thing. We just we, added, we kind of completed this article sure, for them. Sure, we're here for you. We uh, put our own little twist on it. Cracked. Let's. Uh, I'd like to save cracked, but I'll forget. So let's do this now. I'd like to save this in an article so that I know in notes, and it'll go in our uh, podcast only ones. Save good. That way I could look. Cause they look like they got some cool articles. But eventually the neighbor did turn the tapes over to the police who arrested the perpetrator and presumably drew straws over which poor bastard was going to watch the hours of evidence. The ma- well, you don't have to. You can watch about three minutes and see that he's fucking a picnic table. You don't need to watch all eight hours. It's the same thing. Well, exactly. Nothing's going to change. I this, mean, they're at, waiting at that for the point, money shot. I would draw the line there. I mean, you're going to peek back a couple <laughs> times, but hours and hours, no, nothing's changing. It's not. I won't watch an hour long real porn. You watch a little bit in the beginning, you watch a little bit in the middle, and then you go right to the money shot. An to hour finish. long porn, I don't make it five minutes. No. I don't even know what they do at the end. Do you? No. Do they watch no. a movie, cuddle, kiss? What? It, well, what? after the shot, the money shot, yeah. I have no clue. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I goes have no on. Clue. I, I, I Although. Know. Uh, last episode for the New Year's thing, we did Pornhub had a bunch of statistics, and typically men in America, I think it was eight minutes and twenty seconds, is the typical amount, is the average amount of time that a man watches a porn video. I believe that. Yeah, and why women need, are why, like, what do you need to keep watching for? Or maybe men were like eight, eight, like the upper end of eight minutes, and women are like the lower end, something anyway. But there was an actual statistic for that. Uh, Once the guy gets up to clean his face off, I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> There's nothing more to see there. What? Oh shit! Kind of fucking, I forgot we're recording. What kind of fucking porn are you watching, dude? You mind your? Just go fuck your picnic table and leave me alone. Don't you worry about it. Oh my god! I think I'd be more accepting of you if you had, if you had fucked a picnic table. To be honest, would you? Would you? <laughs> oh god! Hypothetically, we've been friends for a long time. Yeah, don't remind me. If I decided to either be gay or fuck a picnic table and you had to watch me fuck a guy or fuck a picnic table not what would disgust you more what would because to be honest with you I don't give a fuck if you're gay or not but in our situation we are not gay so it's weird to see the other person that is not gay do it would you think I was weirder 
if I turn gay? Would you, not weirder, would you accept me more if I was gay or if I was a picnic table fucker? I'm not putting them two in the same uh, stereotype, but I'm just saying. I think I being would. Being as though I am straight, what would you accept more if, if you seen me being gay or seen me fucking a picnic table? Probably gay. You would accept me more or think that was weirder? No, I think I'd accept, accept you more because deep down it makes you happy like it has for years. Well, maybe the picnic table would... T- oh, you fucker. <laughs> what? <laughs> you fucking ruined the whole music <laughs> with reality, with you your fucking gonna, reality. You thought I was going to be serious? <laughs> yeah. Yep. No, all serious. I think I probably would accept that more, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Because I feel the picnic table, I'm not even going to judge you. I wouldn't even care. I'm just going to bust your balls and make fun of you yeah. till no end. Yeah. Well, the picnic table probably did enough ball busting. <laughs> you imagine yeah. if you were on top of that fucking that hole down into that hole, your balls are getting squashed every time you fucking go you down. You get enough friction, you could catch it on fire. This could be dangerous. Sure could. Now the fire department's got to show up. Yep. Got their big hose out. <laughs> to put All the, of a sudden, everybody in the park is fucking my picnic table. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, big hoses everywhere. Uh, squirting water. Yeah, this is turning. This is a serious thing. It could thing. get out of hand real quick. We need to... I wonder uh, if this guy ever took all this into consideration. How many lives he's put at risk? No, I'm sure he's selfish. He could have sure caught the trees on fire. Everything. Anything could have happened. Fucking kids' lives up. Yeah. This guy's... He, you know, he's a selfish motherfucker. Yeah. Really is. Well, it's not really him fucking kids' lives up. It's their parents for allowing them to be at the park where there's a potential. True. There's the potential of, of a guy. Of a picnic table fucker. Right. You don't, I won't, I'm not letting, my, my kids won't go to the park anymore after this. I, nope, I don't, that's I don't, done. Not just happening. in case, you never know. Yep, I agree. And, and if I let them go and they happen to see this at a park someday, I'll feel responsible. As if I wasn't a good parent. How would you live with yourself? I wouldn't. I couldn't. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. fair enough. That solves that. Street signs. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, that took a lot longer than I thought. we got to reset here. I feel like this. I just boxed three more rounds. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> a Sioux Falls, South Dakota man was arrested when a neighbor came home and had the following thought train barrel down the center, thought train barrel down the center of his mind. Hey, I don't write the articles. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to say at this point. <laughs> Came home and had the following thought train down barrel at, <laughs> at the center of his mind. Hmm. There appears to be a 60-year-old man in my backyard in a trench coat and pantyhose holding a camcorder. Perhaps he's a pervert. After the man was arrested, police found hours of tape that were kind of like that haunted video from The Ring. Only instead of killing you... It was permanently negates the possibility of an erection for the remainder of your adult life. Please, no, if I was seeing a guy fucking a street sign, I would be weird, but I'd still get a, I'd still get hard. Watching him fuck a sign? No, just in general. This guy say for the rest of your life, like I, no. my my life's gonna be fine. My dick will still work after. That's Not true. at that moment. I think it would be fucked up. Uh, police say the tapes included two years worth of the man defiling street signs. Stop having sex with signs. It says. Uh, How do you do that now? We're going to find out. All right. We got to the picnic table with the umbrella hole. What hole is there on a stop sign? (laughs) And if there is one, it ain't very big. No. And I have probably the world's smallest penis, and it's still too big. For the screw holes on a stop sign. Yeah, because you know what I know what you're talking about. The one like the signs have all the holes. Hold it to the post. Right. Right. Well, that's you know. So what do you? Oh, so you think he's got to take the sign off of the post? And fuck the... Well, can he fucking levitate while I he does it? When I did them at, at the state, there was... The whole post had holes in them every couple inches. Oh, that... Oh, and you're you just right. use oh, the okay. ones where you want it. So maybe he didn't have to take the stuff. Again, stops. though. Very small Gonna holes. need a small dick. Definitely gonna... Very, need, I don't know if you could fit this pen in that. Yeah, so... So how... I, I know. I get it. I'm, this I'm, is... We're, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two goddamn years. And that's just the one he was taping. Who knows how many street signs he fucked and got away with it. This proves once and for all the forensics and crime scene work you see on CSI is a big load of bullshit. Big load. Yep. Big. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Imagine all the inside over. of that fucking square stock that where they used to put the sign just filled oh. with dried semen oh, over the years goodness. of this guy. Two years of fucking that thing. Uh, the man's Nasty. escapades didn't end there either. His collection includes video of himself in an all-leather S&M outfit while grinding against a door frame, instantly making it twice as awkward as any other S&M film ever made. There he is. You know what? As weird as this is going to sound, and this is actually being serious for a minute now. Okay. Once again, doing this, doing a show and doing these articles, 
It does make me wonder, and I, I will never understand it because I don't understand people's minds, what they think and how that, like, just rubbing up against the doorframe gets you off. How? I feel like I, right. I, as weird as it sounds, I wish I, like, stuttered, studied psychology or something yeah. to try and understand the yep. brain. What, what's going through these I get people's your minds? I get like, what you're thinking. Like, to yeah. us, it's normal to have sex with a female. Right. That's normal. That's what we grew up. That's what we know. It's just normal. I guess I could have grew up fucking tables and doors. But how does that happen? What causes that? That's it's weird. I've heard of and like girls it, it, fucking their pillows, like grinding on their pillows. It's a little different for girls because they got the clip. Yeah. So something rubbing on it, I guess. That that makes more sense, yeah. but you know, you gotta think rubbing on a door frame. Like that's hard. So like doesn't it hurt? I know you accidentally flicked me in the balls or something, it hurts. So yeah. rubbing up against That I, wasn't an accident. Well, anyway. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It makes me wonder what what yeah, what, what, what goes happened their, to them or yes. what what they're thinking about. Well, and there's so many other things. If you're just frustrated and you're looking to get off, like weird ways to masturbate, there's so many toys and actual things you can use that 100%, are for that. Tons of tons of things. I don't know. Or like, I mean, it's still a little weird, but even like a pillow or some fucking thing. There's so many things that are less weird than a stop sign or a street sign. Yeah, I just I don't. But get But to it. them, it's not weird, and that's where. Well, that's I, it. That's what I mean, though. Too the the. the the weird part of it is that they don't find that weird. To them, that must be normal. Right. So it makes you think we think it's weird. Maybe they think we're weird for fucking a female. Right. It's, Do you think regular gay sex is weird? No. Now, okay. But, but to some people, do think that's weird. I could get it. I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not. I don't either. I'm with you. I don't like, think I'm it's not, weird. Like, it's accepted now, and I get well, what exactly. it is. I, I don't care if you're gay. Right. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't have any problems with that. It doesn't affect me. I, I, don't, guess, I don't have to sleep with you, but... What I'm getting at, I guess, is people used to look at that like that was weird. I could get it. Like, well, we look at the sign like it's weird. Well, normally, because it's typically, a, you know, a man and a woman have sex, not yeah. a man and a man, or to go one further, not a woman and a woman even, really, right. for that matter. Right. But at this day and age, in 2023... So, right. You, you know and what I mean? Just, so this is what I'm getting at. I'm not putting gay people down, but I'm getting at... At one point, that was not accepted like it, it is now. Exactly. What if in 20 years, fucking road signs is accept, is normal? To be honest with you, never say never. Who knows? I, Who the fuck knows? Look at the way the world's headed. Who sure. knows? The, and that's what I'm getting I, at. I couldn't tell you one way or the other what's going to happen 10 years from now. And I, I, yep. To be totally honest, I wouldn't be shocked. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, it, it wouldn't surprise me There's at this There's people point. that think they need a fucking uh, litter box in yeah, their house for so, their daughter or their son or whatever. So. Exactly. So, I, I mean, I, I, it, I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be surprised. It's, 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 just, it's crazy out there. But, you know, the gay sex thing, that doesn't, that doesn't bother me. I don't care. No. I, you know, don't, don't come on to me, I'm, you know, but I, I don't give a shit what I guess, you choose well, to do. That's none of my business. I don't want people, like gay listeners, to think that I'm... That's not what I brought that up for. It was just more... At, at one time, we all know, whether you're gay like or not, we all know thing. at one time yeah, it wasn't I'm, really accepted. Exactly. Like it is now. Just like at this point in time, fucking road signs and shit is not accepted. Exactly. But who knows, like you said, with the way the world goes. Yeah. This guy was a little bit more, though. I read a little bit more into this. There was also video of him masturbating in front of traffic while wearing a mask, waving a gun at people while naked, and digging a hole to literally fuck the ground. That has to be the pinnacle of messed up boning, right? Screwing the earth itself. I, I, to be honest, I'd be more accepting if I, fought, I saw a guy fucking a hole in the ground than I did a road sign. Yeah. Or a table. Well, we can say that he's not the first guy to get caught doing it, so maybe it's a thing. Who are we to judge? Oh, uh, yeah, pretty yeah, fuck much. What, fuck what you want, as long as my kids aren't sitting at the picnic table. Uh, bicycle is number four. A man from southwest Scotland apparently decided while looking at his bike that he wanted to ride it all night long. Without a seat. And it, That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm fucking wondering, dude. Huh. And in ways, that would make Lance Armstrong weep tears <laughs> of pure terror. This uh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. This presumably, oh, it was Lance Armstrong, <laughs> uh, we'll was not a problem for anyone until the night that two cleaning ladies for a local hostel walked in on a site far more horrifying than anything Eli Roth would come up with. The 51-year-old Scottish man with tro, T-R-O-U, fully dropped, I think trousers, fully dropped, was riding a bike in a way that God never intended. Look how long that fucking stand is there where the seat goes. Hey, you imagine you take that seat off, that'll come right out his fucking mouth. <laughs> that'll straighten him out like a fucking broomstick. Yeah, you got a crooked spine? Not anymore, Not fella. Not no more, sir. 
Oh, and did we mention that he stopped knowing he was caught in one of the most awkward situations ever, acknowledged the cleaners in the room, and then continued getting it on? Well, it's hard to stop Absolutely. once you're yeah, getting you don't close. S- it's like, there's no it stopping. Go. I'm already in trouble. Yeah. You already caught I'm me. Already in Why trouble. would I stop now? Does it make it weirder that I finish? Right. I mean, what? the fact I'm fucking a bike is weird enough, so already, I mean. Yeah. You already, this might, I don't know if I want to say this. Well, I'm not condoning rape. So I guess I can, but I just, these people that go to jail for 20, 30 years for fucking some 70 year old woman, they broke into her house and started raping the 70 year old woman. Yeah. But if you're going to go to jail for the same amount of time, no matter the girl that you fuck, why wouldn't you fuck a good looking girl? It's, it's funny you bring that up because again, obviously, I'm obviously not, we're nobody, not condoning rape either way, whether a young girl or old exactly. girl. But I'm just no matter saying, how, I mean, everybody, I'm sure everybody knows how the show is and that, right. you know, but we've talked about that before. You know, it's like, yeah, it, yeah, again, not to condone it, but it's like you're doing that and you're going to go away for however many years anyway. Why wouldn't you pick somebody attractive? Of course, again, it goes back to you don't know people what goes through people's minds. Maybe that right. person finds a 70-year-old woman attractive. Maybe. I, I guess we, you just don't know. I guess not. I just, yeah, to me, if I'm going to get the same sentence I, for fucking a 70-year-old as for fucking like a 28-year-old or something, like I, uh, that's a no-brainer to me. Yeah. Not that I'm going to do it. I don't want to fucking cops here. I'm just saying, like, it just seems like a dumb... <laughs> Not yeah, they're here. <laughs> it's, it seems stupid to me. Uh, no, I get it. Uh, number three, a lamp post. So imagine you're walking innocently down the street on an, an usually nice day in February. It's a few days after Valentine's Day, and you still have one. I wonder what he feelings. got the lamp post. Uh, yeah, after Valentine's, he had he had better got that lamp post something, or he ain't getting no sex. Not no more. <laughs> yeah, not if he didn't get her something worth it. Not no fucking more. Uh, you still got warm, fuzzy feelings of love and tenderness skipping through your chest. Yes, life is full of sunshine and rainbows. Nothing can ruin your day right up to the moment you run into an extremely naked man grinding a lamppost like the strip show from hell itself. Congratulations, you now know exactly how those school children and young women felt when they encountered this exact scenario in Wiltshire, England. Wiltshire, England. Again, the thing of it is, is this is obviously all weird to us, and we're, we're, we're having fun with it naturally for the show and stuff, mm-hmm. but- like I said, us, you know, we're thinking this is weird. This guy might look at us like fucking, fucking your girl, and he's like, he's a fucking weirdo. Yeah, he's fucking, a, he's fucking a human. Like, whoa, yeah. who, who does I guess, that? I guess weirdness is subjective. Yeah, I mean, the nameless thirty-two-year-old man was identified as being protected for reasons we are unsure of, other than to not be called a lamp sexual in public. Was soon arrested for suspicion of outraging public decency. Suspicion, really? Even with eyewitnesses. Now we are curious to find out how much more detective work it would take to get a conviction on publicly boning a street lamp. I wonder what the detective did to get that detail. Oh, like, he's got to be down listen, the bottom listen of the here, fucking listen barrel. Listen here, Wes. You fucked up pretty good. You're now on a uh, lamp post you, fucking detail. Yep. I want you You're to find out. You're going to investigate why Tommy was fucking that lamp post. Sure. You know? Can oh. you just sit me at the desk instead? Let me, give yeah. me desk duty. Do I really have I'll to write investigate parking this? tickets. <laughs> how are you going to... Who's... Coll- you got to collect that evidence. Oh, God. Getting your Q-tip out there and... Taking his yeah. DNA. Tasting it. You got to taste it, it. Yeah. You have to. How do you know it's, if it's really semen You don't. Not? You don't until you taste it. it. You never know. It's like cocaine. If you get bust somebody, if you're a cop, if I was a cop, bust somebody with cocaine, I'd yeah, have to you try gotta, it. Too. Yeah, no. you at least got to do the whole gram. It, sure. Well, depending on how much they have. The minimum, you got to do at least one gram. Right. So how do you know if it's real? Might need a second opinion if my friends were around. Yeah. Make Tell me if this is what this is. Mm-hmm. Is this powdered sugar? Is this cocaine? We don't know until we try it. Yeah. No way. Absolutely. There's and no- I don't trust them scientists, you know, back at the lab. I don't trust that shit. I mm-hmm. want to know first before hand. I arrest this person, because right now... I'm more of a hands-on. I learned correct. firsthand. I got to, yeah, you Absolutely. Know? Me too. I You can't... You, I'm not going to arrest... I'm, I follow the Constitution, and I'm not... You are innocent until proven guilty, and mm-hmm. right here is what I'm doing is... I'm not going to take you to jail and I then prove you guilty. I want to then, find out if this cocaine is real. Because then you're getting then in trouble I'll decide, for false right. arrest or whatever. You know, you're you're arresting somebody that mm-hmm. didn't even commit a crime. Yeah, it's depending not on illegal, how much you have, it's had. not illegal to carry around fucking Smarties or confectionery sugar or whatever. So right. I can't arrest you on that. So I have to make sure the evidence is factual. Sure, and that would be the correct way to do cop work. I feel. And then right before I take you to jail, if it is real and happens to be good cocaine, I'm going to find out where your dealer is because I am going to make sure nobody else. We want to go there. right to the fucking end yes. of this. We, we want we to gotta, end this. We got to right shut now. this. We got to shut this down. Yes. So, yeah. and I would imagine if you bought it off your dealer and you were selling that brick, you'd probably would have cut it with something. So I'm going to need it. I want to also do a, you know, do mm-hmm. work on. We want to eliminate that. We don't. We don't want. We don't that want cost. this shit out. No. no. 
Now with the fentanyl shit that's going on and all that, we don't. We want to make sure that we get to Pierce. I'll be. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'll be six months. I'll be in fucking Colombia working on this. I'll travel. I will travel down a rabbit hole. I don't care. Well, that's because you would if be. You would be committed. I can see you being committed. That's that's how you do your job. Uh, yeah. You do it to the fullest of your abilities. Yep. Give it. Give it your all, or there's no sense in doing. It. Just fucking retire. Mm-hmm. Don't even be a detective if you're not. If willing, you're not going to do it, if you're not the right willing way. to give it your all like this, then don't yes. even be a detective. Yep. There's Absolutely. no sense. Yeah, you'll see me six months after starting that investigation. I'll be sitting on the side of a runway you'll be somewhere a with Pablo palm trees. Escobar. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, whatever it takes. Yeah. Get the job done. And I will. I'm diligent. I'm not going to let this shit go around. No. I don't blame you. Uh, anyway. Wow, we got so serious there. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's a serious subject. You, you fuck around with getting, you know, putting drugs out on the street like yeah, that. You want to make sure you find good cocaine. So sure. That's all it comes down real to. Real cocaine. Let's just real. say good, real. We're, this is legal. We're, we're, you know, we're, we want this off the street. We don't, we don't want it. I don't want to do cocaine. I don't like cocaine. But I have to do it to, before I put somebody away. My job away. literally forced me. Like, I can't arrest a guy if <laughs> I don't know if it's real. This is because of the fucking parents. Yeah. This, <laughs> it is. It absolutely is. They're parents. the ones like, I think you should become a cop or a detective someday. Now look at where Why we are. Why couldn't I just become a fucking school teacher, Mom? Right. You know? Why'd you make me do this? Yep. Why'd if you If my parents weren't the way they were, I would never fucked as many picnic tables and I wouldn't have done as much coke. Exactly. So it's all their fault. So, Mom, if you're listening, this is all your fault. <sighs> well, you know, and there's no handbook. No. There's no, no there's no book that teaches new parents how to There's no right or wrong like, way, I guess. It is their essence, fault, well, our parents, but I just don't. It's not really their fault because they just didn't know better. Mm-hmm. They're the reason I don't really know if I'm male or female. <laughs> they ain't fucking. <laughs> it's not my fault. They should have raised me. To know you are you have a penis, you are a man. You have the world's prettiest vagina, you make a lot of money on OnlyFans. <laughs> it's that simple. Those are your options, kid. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. And you, when you have a penis, you stand to piss. You don't use a litter box. And that's, that's all there is to it. Yeah. This is. I hope people really get something out of this episode. I really do. This is a pretty educational one, oh, I it think. It certainly is. This is probably one of our best ones. Oh, it certainly is. Very educational. We're teaching mm-hmm. a lot of lessons today. You know, too, there's something about citizens' arrest. I was just thinking about the cocaine thing. Our listeners could actually do all the same tests on the cocaine. That's true. And then if it's real, they could arrest them. Right. If it's real, right. At that point, then you call in the police and and take the necessary procedures from that point. But I thought we don't want to call the cops. That's a Well, fine. not yet. We want to go through, we want to get to the, you use them as a, there's a word for that in cop, um, use them as like a dive or something. I don't you, I, I want to get to the source. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, kind of. I don't know how to explain myself out of this because I don't really want to call the cops on them, but I also don't. You know, but you I, also I'm trying to clean also, up this fucking street. Yeah, is what you also I'm doing. don't want fucking cocaine all over. And if I gotta snore everybody's cocaine to do it, <laughs> I'll do it. This is what you. You know what I mean? I'll, I, I. They call that's, the people call me a hero for this. That's that's a way to be committed. That's all I know. It ain't for me. No, I know. I get That's what I mean. That's yeah. why to be committed no, to I know. up the streets. Yeah, yeah it ain't for, this you're, is you're for really, humanity. You're, put, you're putting yourself out there for everybody else. Yeah. And that, that says something about you. You want to help me? I can't do all the cocaine in the world alone. No, I, and we're friends. <laughs> Ride or die. We got to stick together. And you know what? It's not even about friendship so much. It's about, <laughs> <laughs> it's about helping people. Saving the world. Saving the one children. One gram of cocaine the at world. a time. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and one picnic table at a time. <laughs> yeah. I think we might have to fuck picnic tables just to try to understand why they do it. Maybe to try and help them then. Maybe maybe we could talk to them and counsel them. If to, we understood what exactly, was going through their head, I get it. We can't understand what's going through their head I get because that. we haven't fucked a picnic table. You're right. So that might we might have to add that to our list. Yeah. How else are we going to know? What are we going to do if we fuck a table and we like it? We won't tell anybody. No, we don't. You, know, we don't. <laughs> you just keep anyway, doing it anyway, and act like this. Is so late one night. <laughs> late one night, a certain man was walking around Hong Kong in the park, lonely and bored. So he did what many of the lonely and bored people on this list did and found the nearest thing with a hole in it to fuck. Then he saw a park bench with holes in it. And then he made the fateful decision to have, have a bit of the old in and out with it. What's the harm? This is the harm. Oh, there's a YouTube video. Yes, that video is totally accurate. We're going to play the video. His dick stuck in the bench. His penis stuck in the bench. Is this 
Oh, an error occurred. Okay, this must be it. So they must have taken it off. So I'm glad that happened because we would have That was probably legit, off. and that's why I got kicked yep. off, yeah. Uh, his ill-advised boning adventure soon led to an over a dozen emergency personnel attempting to rescue him. Personnel, a de- over a dozen emergency personnel attempting to rescue him. While trying to hold in the Nelson Munt style laughter brewing inside each of them. Oh, there's a picture of him. Look at the blood. Dude, there's blood. Oh, it's one of the metal ones with a hole. Yeah. Oh, he definitely got stuck because that's re- that's like fire department or something. They're helping him. Well, that's 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 his parents' fault. Uh, yeah. This is ridiculous. They're not very big holes either. Uh, no, but a lot closer to. So one conclusion I can come to: that guy is not the Falcon. No. No. There's no way. No. I don't feel like anybody on this list has a very big dick, or they could probably fuck actual people. Facts. You know what I mean? I agree. Uh, the doctors had to use needles to drain blood from the man's penis, but oh, sadly yeah. for Zing, getting... Oh, he's Chinese. Don't worry about it. We yeah, know, he's, we know, we know he's got a small dick. Yeah, 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 that's how he fit in this bench. Getting stabbed in the dick did nothing to stop the swelling and loosen things up, so the rescuers had to cut away the part of the bench that he was stuck to and shipped him off by ambulance, where it took doctors a painfully long four hours to remove the sheet of metal from Lee's dong. Which he almost lost. Do you imagine going to the hospital for that? Remember that movie in, in American Pie? What was it, what was that scene? Didn't he go to the hospital for fucking something different? Was it, am I thinking right or am I wrong? Uh, I something remember. sounds familiar about it, but I can't remember the movie enough. It's been so long since I've seen it to know exactly I thought, what you're I could about. be wrong, but either way, you imagine going to the hospital and explain like, yeah, I was fucking a park bench and got stuck. <laughs> Dude, you that's know. these people that get shit stuck in their ass, and I guess that really happens. There's been, like, nurses that have told me stories about shit. Like, nothing real weird, but they get, like, butt plugs stuck in there and, and just, like, nor- I, you know. But how I do you go like you to... you just the- push that out. Just poop. Yeah. Yeah, it seems simple. Just poop. Yeah, what's so hard about that? Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, wait, didn't we do... We did an episode, 32, wasn't it? About the... the yes, episode 32 was the... In fact, the title was it the something the cost of using cheap sex toys or something. Remember? Yes. And yes. you told the story about how you went to the do- dentist and the guy and the, the doctor made you bend over and check your test tonsils. Yeah, I'll never go back something. there. I'll never go back there. That was something to do with this. Anyway, number one is cars. Edward Smith's love of cars, did, which isn't the weirdest. Like the we went most over normal one on the list in my yeah. opinion. I fuck cars all the time. Yeah, they fuck me when they break down. Yeah, well, that's right. So it's only fair. Uh, yeah, that's the most normal one on the list. Edward Smith's love of cars didn't translate into a nice collection of rare vehicles or a carrier as a mechanic, a career as a mechanic. Oh, no, he's on this list because he wanted to express his love in a different way. Edward is one of a tiny... Look at the tits on that car. I don't blame him. I'd fuck that car. Hell, yeah. I want to fuck that car right now. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, yeah. It's, uh, but for the listeners, I think it's a Mini Cooper, but like the headlights are the... the the edge, the ends of the tit, like not the nipples, but like because she's got like a bathing suit thing on. But can I zoom in on this for the people on YouTube? Oh yeah. quick. Yeah, they got. Can you grab me a bottle of water? Yeah, well, sure. Thank you. Uh, Edward is one of a tiny number of people who are called um, mech mechanophiliacs. Only about five hundred of them, as far as we know, and it's just what it sounds like. These are people that treat car washes like late night Cinemax movies, except. Instead of naughty inmates at an all-girls prison, it's seeing that dirty slut of a scion get buffed nice and slow, just how Papa likes it. That's nice. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, it gets cold in here, don't it, when that door's shut? Uh, the other room, remember upstairs? My God, by the time we got done, it would be fucking... Well, we had different light and shit. We had the heat. We had the sun going. Uh, by Edward's count, since age 15, he's made love to around a 1,000 cars, and he doesn't care who knows it. Judging... Is there... Is fucking a picnic table or a car illegal? Granted, if you're at the park, it's indecent exposure. If there was a picnic table in my kitchen and nobody was here and I was fucking it and the cops caught me doing it, I don't think that's illegal. In the privacy of your own home? Yeah. I don't see how it could be at all. It's weird as fuck, but I don't think it's illegal. So by the sounds of it with this guy with a car, I'm assuming he was like at his own house and his garage or something doing this because yeah. it doesn't seem like it's a legality type of thing here. And not to mention, if it's in your own home, I mean... If I was I was fucking my kitchen table, just what I don't know. The only thing I could see about fucking a table <clears throat> is indecent exposure because you're in public mm-hmm. per se. Mm-hmm. If I'm doing it at my house, how's it indecent exposure? Nobody's. I, I agree with that. If you're peeking in my windows watching me, that's on you. Right now, you, you're the peeping Tom. Right, you're you're invading you're, my privacy. Yeah, that's right. It's in my home. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Uh, so. Since age 15, he's made love to around 1,000 cars, and he doesn't care who knows it, judging by the fact that he has done TV interviews about it. Our research hasn't he's made very, it clear. very open about his sexuality. Sure. Our research hasn't made it clear exactly how someone has sex with a car. Obviously, you'd think of the tailpipe, but that would seem to create difficulties in terms of positioning, especially for a car built low to the ground. And the car, well, you could always do the lazy, lazy doggy, I like to call it, or the lazy, I got to come up with a better name, but like when the girl's on their back and you're laying next to them mm -hmm. and you just fucking put one leg up in the air because you're too lazy to get up on your fucking hands and... Fair enough. Uh, our researcher, our research hasn't made it clear exactly how someone has sex with the car. Obviously, you'd think of it. I just read that. And the car absolutely cannot be mounted while it's moving, as you'll see in this set of 30 photos of our attempt to demonstrate this. <laughs> See, this, so these guys are a lot like us. They're committed. They're going to do this, not because they enjoy fucking cars, but because they need to see. For research purposes. Absolutely. You're not going to tell listeners. We have all. We have 25,000 listeners, probably 26, 27,000 now. And I'm not going to give them bullshit. I'm, we're not going to tell them bullshit. No. We want to no. We want to tell them real shit. We speak nothing but facts on this show. That's right. Uh, Let's see. On top of that, you'll always have the doubt, that doubt in the back of your mind that you're accidentally cornholing Optimus Prime. No, you oh, know I, it. I think you'd know it. Yeah. Edward's current fling is a Volkswagen Beetle named Vanilla, which inst which I, oh, I I'm like all right that, with man. that. Yeah. I like the looks of them tits in on that. In fact, I'm, I'm getting more and more excited about this. Vanilla Beetle? Yeah, oh, I like boy. it. Which instantly makes every Herbie the Love Bug movie ever made five times creepier. Other cars he's gave his mighty meat shaft to include <laughs> a 1993 Ford Ranger Splash he calls Ginger. That's a motherfucking Ford Ranger. That's a Ford Ranger. Uh, Cinnamon, the 73 Opal GT, and a 69 Beetle, which he are sh we are sure was probably the sluttiest car he's ever dated. But cars aren't the only machine he's going all the way with. He claimed in the documentary he totally had a fling with this helicopter one time. It's here that we are tempted to call bullshit on the whole thing. But really... Why would somebody lie about that? Uh, that's that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Uh, let's do. Let's see what this is for saving it for future. Right uh, for future episodes. Why can't I? Can't. Ten most terrifying guides to sex. Yeah. Oh well, I guess I can't do that. Can I just do this? Hey, copy. Uh, add it to, a book, add it to your I'll, bookmark. Yeah, I couldn't. It wouldn't let me do it. This was like this thing I normally use. Was so this is cock blocking out. you. Yeah, if you will. Out of these six things, there was a... Let's we'll start. Pic picnic table. A, a, a picnic table, a street sign, a bicycle, a lamppost. Park bench. A park bench, and a car. What is the weirdest one to you? Uh, I would have to say it'd have to be the park bench or the sign. Only because I'm trying to think to myself how small those holes are, so how are you doing it? Well, I would agree Again, with they're you. they're all weird, but it's like, I'm just trying, I guess that doesn't really qualify the, the most weird to me, but it's, well, I, I guess I agree it intrigues with me the most, like, how did you do that? My thing Apparently, is... Apparently, the park bench didn't work out too well for them, so... They're weird because, like, kids could see you doing them or other people could see you doing it. That's what makes those two well, the weirdest for me. Yeah, well, I mean, all of them. I mean, you could see me fucking my so. car in a driveway or whatever, you know, yeah. so it's all That's true. All you, could have a, you could have a lamppost in your own house, so I guess that you're right. What would be the one, if you had to pick one with a gun to your head, you get you had to pick one of these things to fuck, what would it be? Car. Did you see that fucking vanilla <coughs> beetle? Yep, yep, I'm with you. That wasn't even a hard choice. Give me something a little harder next yep. time. I'm with no you. No pun intended. <laughs> you ain't going to get much hard for me. <laughs> uh, we got a would you rather's. I don't know. Maybe we'll do like five of these and move on to the next thing because these are getting. We've well, we say this, is this every a new episode. List? Yeah, but it's got. It's getting to the point where even new lists are about the same type of fucking they questions. They keep repeating uh, the same shit over and over and over. Yeah. Uh, what do we? What's the? Yeah. Would you rather? Would you rather watch people having sex or be watched while you're having sex? I think we've done that one before. Yep. Sure I have. think uh, I'd probably want to be watched. 
Yeah. In my mind, I think it's creepier. Even though it's creepy, somebody watching me, I think it's creepier for me to watch somebody. Yeah, because that makes you to creep. In essence, yeah, that's where I'm going. Actually, right, yeah. kind of, right, I get that, because I'd feel like a loser. I'm like, these guys are fucking, I'm just sitting here watching them. Yeah, over in the fucking corner, jerking off or whatever. Yeah, I'll go out and work on my car or something. Like, yeah. I got other shit I could do to say. At least if they're watching, man, it's like, fuck you, I'm having fun. Yeah, whatever, I'm getting fucked, you're sitting in the corner crying. Yep. And so. they would be crying. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah, they would be. Uh, would you rather have sex with your celebrity crush or your high school career? Than all the, we must have we done. Yeah, these are tough, because a lot of them are pretty uh, the same, very similar. Yeah. Yeah, this is, look at, would you rather have phones? Well, so this was a flop. Whatever. Would you rather have sex in the back of a cab or in a public park? Public park. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's less chance that somebody's going to be there with you, where in a cab, you're, you're, there's somebody driving it. You would think. Right, hopefully. Yeah, well, you got I mean, bigger fucking problems. <laughs> yeah. You're going to get fucked, all right. Yeah. That fucker veers off into a guardrail or something. Mm -hmm. Better be real careful. Unless it's one of them self-driving cars. Who knows? Yeah. Would you rather always do it with the lights on or always do it with the lights off? Uh, I'd like both. You got to pick one. Depends on how much makeup she's got on. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, Depends on the girl, I guess. I'm going to go lights on because you know what? I ain't fucking no ugly bitch. Right. And if, right. If I've chosen you to go home with, I obviously think you're attractive. Yeah. So I want to see that. Exactly. We've talked about that plenty on the Plus, show. Plus, I like before. seeing their facial expressions while you're yes. fucking them. Mm -hmm. That's a turn on. That's like the porns where it doesn't show the girl's face. Like instantly next. I, that, next. Sorry, what? finish. No, that's all. That's that all. and if they don't make noise, I don't like that either. They just lay there. It's like yeah. so boring. These TikToks too, where the girl won't show their face, but they want you to go to their fucking OnlyFans page. It's like no, they got hot no. bodies, but it's like no. If I can't see your face, I got to see like expressions. Yeah, I want to see if the face matches the fucking rest of it. Would you rather ol always have sex under covers or never have sex under covers? Pick one or you never know. under cover. You'd rather just be on top of the, yeah, yeah, all right. It does it's, get cold sometimes on your fucking yeah, but ass? It, not when you're moving. You you know what I mean? That's true. Right. You warm up quick. I can tell you this: every time you'll get hot under the covers once you get going. Yeah, you're right. But there's only a chance of getting cold. Uh, right, I get mm -hmm. you. And you can warm. You can, that's up to you to warm up. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I'm going I never never under the covers. Right. I, so, hey, you're fucking smart today on this show. I'm, I'm fucking witty. I, I I have been work. I've been doing brain exercises. <laughs> I've really taken this health thing to a new yeah, level. Yeah, you have. So uh, I've been doing Rubik's cubes and all sorts of stuff. Brain teasers. I could tell. I'm, I really stepped up my game. I'm thinking about going to college. <laughs> now, are, yeah. <laughs> so the thinking thing hasn't been going that great for you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah. You are you really doing like the like brain teasers and shit? Or no, you're fucking around. No. All right. I'm already um, a fucking genius. What more? You can't get any smarter than me. I, this fucking episode has proven it. I'm telling you. No we quit. figured out how to raise your children so they don't fuck picnic exactly. tables. You basically figured it out. I'm, telling you, smart I'm one. telling you how to be the best parent possible. And you did. If, it, if people have problems with parenting after this fucking episode. I don't episode, understand why the, all these parents have such r rebellious kids. It's like basically just teach them don't fuck tables. Yeah. It's not that hard. <laughs> right. They could... Oh, yeah, if they don't fuck the table, I guess. I guess. There's... <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> what are we doing? Tell me that doesn't feel like a... What are we doing? I don't, I don't know, but I'll tell you, this is one of the best episodes I remember in a while. Anyway, these are all the same fucking things. Would you, I mean, we we'll have to come up with something different eventually just, on these or, or uh, yeah. find a new list and actually read through it. And, I mean, I feel like no matter what list we find, there's going to be some repetitive ones I'm on I'm going to make but, a post, too. After this post kind of or, winds down, I'm going to have people send us the would you rather. That, that's true. They could send us one's questions, yeah. and then we'll do them on the air. Or I was going to say the same thing, too. We, we could come up with some of our own, you know, to add yeah. some un uniqueness to it. What I'd like is people to record their voice asking the question. You don't have to say your name or nothing so you don't, people don't think you're a weirdo, but record it. And send it like as a file, and I could just play it right here on the thing, and then we could answer it. Plus, that would be cool. We would never listen to it beforehand. We could be put right on the right. spot. I won't open like the file. Reading. Right. You and know? God knows this show, you could say whatever the fuck you want, as long as it isn't like racial yeah. and shit like that. I'll, I won't play that shit. But we don't really want to know even before we... I'll just stop it right there and just mm -hmm. delete it. But uh, yeah, that would be cool. Maybe we'll do that. You guys can send it in now, even before the post. But for now, I'll make a post, and you could just message the show with your video, your audio file, or video if you want. But I assume you'd want to do that. Um, and uh, yeah. Ooh, there's a tough one. I just caught quick. Though. What do you got? Rather have a partner who's ten in looks or a ten in bed? 
10 and looks. Yeah. That's a pretty easy one for me, but I could see how that would be a difficult. That was a good one still. I, but you know what? I get as soon as you said, I guess that wasn't as tricky as I was. I guess I, I could understand. It was a good one, though. though. I think it was still because a good I one. Because I feel like sex. You could you could still make it good even if they weren't great, but if they're ugly, the sex is definitely going to be bad. Yeah. If, if you even get hard to fuck them. Well, this is the way. I, the reason I thought the way I did so quick about it is that how many times eventually, you know, in the beginning of relationships, you're fucking every day, but when you've been with somebody for a little while, you're fucking once a week, twice a week, something like that. Sometimes three a week, whatever. But you got to see wow, that, that person. Often still, you got <laughs> lucky bastard. For now, there. <laughs> You got to see that person every day, though. If you're like in a real relationship, living with you them, you got to go whatever. out in public with them. Right, you have to take them places. So I want them to be. So I'll take the ten and looks over the ten and bad. I I agree. That I'll, was that wasn't really as bad as I was thinking. I guess that was a good one though. I, I don't know. I liked it. I thought that was a that was. Uh, well, anyway, what do we got? What's this last one we got? Sex experts share the best positions to lose weight and uh, tone their legs, butts, and well, abs. that one works. But yeah, with, I vote with, that position. Yes, but with sex exercise. So these are positions, sex positions you can use if you're looking to lo lose weight. And apparently, this is the fucking parenting tips and, uh, and weight a health of, episode and health episode. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, a girl goes in that position, I'm losing no weight because I'm fucking her for about thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's there, true. There's gonna be. I'm yeah, not even gonna get out. Of, I'm not even gonna get out of breath on that one. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. I can't even tell I that's a human. In that position, you could get so deep. I'm willing to bet I at least get past the lips. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. You think now. you could do more than an in inch that, in that one? In that, in that position? The way she's set up right absolutely. there? Absolutely. There's nothing obstructing it, so I'm just straight in. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a hell of a setup there for you. Yep. You'd be up there. You'd, your arms would go between her legs here and her, and, yes. her, and her arms, right down on the ground. You wouldn't need to get fancy because it, it ain't going to last long. Yeah, I guess it would be a little workout because I'd be almost in the push-up position. You'd be doing push-ups, but you do. I, I'm with you. I'd do about three push-ups, and I'd be... <laughs> <laughs> That'd be it. That's right. Push-ups are tough. I don't know. I haven't read any of this, so I don't know. Sexperts have revealed how to get more bang for your buck under the sheets with sex exercise. Not only is uh, sex great for mental well-being due to the feel-good hormones, but it can also be great for our physical health. Sure can. Get you a girlfriend and a fucking meta quest, too. It's a win-win. You'd be right in shape. I'm telling you. You know what I mean? Next but, thing you know, uh, you're fucking a girl with the best puss. Where were we? Recent research. Can you read on down through there? Recent research has even, even, even indicated yeah. that sex is equivalent to light, moderate exercise, and you can burn between three to four calories per minute. So me, I'm burning three to four calories total. Almost half of people already consider sex a workout, whilst one in five people admit to tracking their heart rate and calories burned afterwards. According to recent research carried out by sex toy and lingerie brand Love Honey. Boom, boom, boom. Orgasms everywhere. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Love, honey. Check that Talking out. to the next level sexologist and Pilates instructor Ness Cooper and sex and sex and relationships coach and fitness instructor Julia Katsiamani have shared to optimize lovemaking to activate different muscles and get your heart rate going so you can beat the January gym rush this year. I feel like sex in general is going to get the heart rate going. Ding, 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 ding. I get the. I don't wish I had like a news. That's what I was going with that sound. The news. Oh. Bro, you know what they do? Uh, breaking news. Yeah. We've got three comments so far on our Facebook page, and the episode didn't even come out yet. Really? Uh, See, that'll be what good. What constitutes a perfect looking vagina? We got one here. The first one says looks, feel, taste, availability, willingness to let me use it. Which <laughs> Fair I, enough. Which I think is great. Yes, yes. That's Phil. Uh, and Audra says when you keep it right and tight. Uh, and Joe says proximity, yeah, which I just think is fucking now right and tight. I can go with, but again, we were going what constitutes like the perfect looking, like looking, we said, yeah, right? We didn't, although, tight is good, although it, I kind of get that. I'll I could, let that slide I, yeah, because that's true. Because you, yeah, if you're looking at it and it's loose, you can, it's like if it's so, flapping in the breeze, but if it's nice and that's yeah, a, that's gonna be a problem. It's gonna look like that, it's gonna be a night, but if they're like talking to if oh, it's like oh, good morning, you know, and doing like fucking shit, yeah, it's not, I, yeah. Anyways, uh, back to the task at hand here. I feel bad for interrupting you, but I, that was pretty important. We got no, absolutely. right on to that. The best sex positions to work different muscle groups. If you're looking to do your abdominals, you're going to do the love tug and the heart to heart, which the listeners are not going to be able to see. But I'm going to try. We'll try to do our best to explain these. The love tug is basically your doggy style. It's doggy. You're behind the but girl. But instead of like holding on to her, her shoulders or her, her hips. hips or anything, you're hugging her from behind while you're fucking her. That's Apparently, too personal for me, though. Yeah, that's too, there's too much love involved yeah, in I'm that. I'm not trying to get that. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't want you know feelings what? involved. Heart to heart is basically missionary, but 
Uh, her legs are a little up in the air, a little bit bent at the knees, and you're, you're just you're, you're laying right you're on laying her. right on her chest. Last time I did your that, heart is to last her last heart. Last time I did that, I suffocated the girl. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Won't do that again. Now, it takes you too long to get it in. Remember, I said I didn't like them that don't make noise. <laughs> they don't make noise when they're dead. <laughs> they make a little gurgling right before the end. Yeah, but it's a death gurgle. That's about all you get. Yeah, I, I got excited for a minute. I'm like, oh yeah, you like that? And then she just stopped. Uh huh. So, of course, what was I to do? You got to finish. Yeah, we already oh, talked about it. What am I? What am I going to do? Stop? Right. What am I going to get blue balls? Right. You're already in trouble. I'm already committed at this point. Yeah. Just so do fuck it. it. Do it. Got to do what you got to do. Uh, the next one for abdominals is the looking glass. It's called. This is like a. Uh, That's two guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're having a sword fight. I, uh, both characters in that one are blue, so that they're they're men. So we're. Gonna, well, uh, you know what? We got gay listeners. So here you go. The looking glass. You got. It's just two guys. Look like it's the male version of scissoring. The next is, one is all I can see. I don't know how to explain this though. Like the legs are entangled. With her arms or I back. I guess you would almost consider it like lesbian, lesbian scissoring, maybe. Yes, but, I but see in the, that. In the sitting up position, I and guess. And almost and like legs a, over each other. Here for the watchers, I'll just do this so you can see it. It's this one right here, the looking glass. But for the listeners, I don't know how to explain it. I guess it's like a, almost like, almost like a girl. I don't the, see per, how that One would be on work. top of the other, but they're both have their, are they're both up on their arms or something? I don't fucking know. Basically I don't even, in a sitting position yeah. with your legs over each other. Uh, right. I don't know how that, that's like, uh, I like the name Middle of the, East Indian style or I, something. I, I like the name of the next one, but, uh, that's the girl fucking the dude. So I'm not into that one. I don't care if it helps my abdominals or not. You are not fucking me. I don't know. Is that a dude? Look at this. Looks like a bun on her hair right there. Well, I can tell you that one sitting up's definitely got the long fucking hair. That, yeah, but see how so look at he, I his, feel his like ass this. is up in the air. So we're you mean to tell me his dick's wrapped down below his ass and into her puss? <laughs> so fa- he gives the falcon a fuck and puts him to anal shame. Sex, anal sex, anal sex, anal uh, sex. You know what I mean? I, his dick is in is laying on his chest right there. <laughs> There's no way he's fucking her like that. There's no way. <laughs> right or wrong? You're right. You're right. This and this is most certainly a girl, right? She's and looking so- straight down on my hairy asshole in that position. <laughs> That's what's happening in the pelvic pipe. Right, because even at this point, your sack is flopped over that's on the top. I, that's what. I, yes, that's and that's the pelvic pike, everybody. That's the pelvic pike. <laughs> the the sack. There's no, is it, I mean, I guess it's good for a workout, but for sex, not so much. Uh, uh, the next one is for your chest and your shoulders. If you want to work them, the first one is on your marks. The guy is behind the girl, uh, do, doggy, but the girl is on her tippy toes with her yeah, knees bent. Not her bent. knees, yeah. So you're going to put the pressure on her knees and her upper legs and a little bit on the wrists by the look of it. Oh, I didn't realize this shows you the pressure points of where, where you're going to work I this I feel like out. that's more of a workout for the girl, obviously, because she's definitely yes. in a more strenuous, yes. awkward position than the male. I'm just mm-hmm. on my knees behind her. That's mm-hmm. that's, that's doggy all. style for me. Right. You know? Uh, the next one is nose dive, which is basically... <laughs> <laughs> so, dive right in, fella. Yeah. The girl is on her forearms. So she's on her elbows, basically, her forearms, like doggy style, kind of. With her hips and legs over right. her shoulders. The guy has is lifted up her bottom side, yeah. up, up onto the front of her upper legs is on his shoulders, and his nose is... He's in her asshole. ...is definitely lung deep in, <laughs> in butthole, <laughs> and the tongue has got to be at least halfway up the large intestine, I'd say. <laughs> I, that's a that's an accurate assessment. I'd say. Oh, I'll, I would have you no other described way. You could that not, one any right, better. Actually, I'm not going to give the listeners bullshit. That's fair as enough. As we've talked about. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next one. That's trick, pretty similar, but standing. Tr- yes, it is pretty similar, actually. So, trick oral treat, uh, which I like that name. I think that's pretty crafty for chest and shoulders. It's basically, it's basically when the guy picks the girl up and they do 69, but the guy's standing holding the girl up. While they're doing it. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. That's an easy one. Saddle up. Uh, that one looks tired. Let's I, see you explain. I want to see what you, how you, that you explain one? some of that, these. All right. So I guess if you would be the male, you'd be, if you were to lay on your back, but then stand, or not stand, but like stay on your arms So and like legs. typical with a girl on top, you're saying, correct, but with but, a twist here. Correct. You're going you're gonna to extend your arms and legs out, so you're going to be like a table, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. I mean, that's, I couldn't. He looks like a table. Yeah. And then she's just going to be on top of you. And it looks like her feet are actually dangling. She's not even really touching the ground. So, yeah. And she's just going to ride you. This is why midgets are so important. Yeah. That or somebody with long legs because, and of course, I guess it depends on how long your arms and legs are if her legs are going to touch the ground or not. That's true. Relative 
to you know what I mean? Yeah, if you're not that partner. high up off the ground, she's able to touch. Sure. Sure, but he might be on the upstroke of the push. Now, that there is definitely a hell of a workout because not only am I having to hold my body weight up yeah. by strictly my arms and legs in an awkward position. Like an upside-down push-up. I don't e- yeah, I don't even know that I could do that in general. Correct. But on top of holding my weight up that way, I now have the weight of my partner on top of mm-hmm. me. And is she going up and down or am I trying to thrust? And, you know, there, there's a lot there. That that would be a hell of a workout. Right, because at this point, there's really no sex involved. You Yes, yeah, she would be inside her. But she'd almost have to go up and down herself because, yeah, because otherwise your dick isn't doing nothing in her. You're yeah. just lifting her up and down. Picture a push-up, but reversed. Yeah. You're looking up at the ceiling doing a reverse push-up with your arms behind you and your legs and down. she's on top of you. Yes. We'll move right along to our glutes. That's a big one. Everybody loves to work out their glutes, and you can do it in bed with this with these uh, these positions. We're Some of these have the females like fu- doing the fucking almost. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, I just gonna be. Let's let's see you explain that one, Bob. Concertina. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I would. It's met. almost. I'm having fun explaining the it's, fucking it, things. It's, it's like uh, the guy would be on his back in this in this picture anyway. What I could assume. Mm-hmm. I mean, because the girl on top has a bun. He's got his legs up, she as ha- if he was missionary. Correct. She has her leg. It looks it looks like it's over his leg. That right left leg of his. Correct, or is that his arm? Maybe wrapped around. That, I think it would be over his that leg. That looks like his arm wrapped around her ass, pull, like, pulling her in like. Yeah, that could be. And then, uh, yeah, and his leg's up there, so. Yes, his leg is up by her shoulders, up by her shoulders, not on but her But again, shoulders. if you don't have a 10-inch cock, I don't see that working. Right. Yeah, you're gonna pretty, you're gonna need to be packing for this one. Yeah, this one's for like the Falcon. This sure. is he probably came up with this position. Yeah, um, but yeah, you're basically this on your not, back with your legs up, and she's on top with your arms. Oh, look at there's a little hold, asterisk hold, right there next to it. Let's see what the asterisk means. No thimble dick. Let's say no thimble dicks for. Okay, so the ones that have the asterisk next to them are basically you. You're not going to be able to do these. Where I don't even see the asterisk. I just made that up. I oh. made all that up. Oh, as I went per- along. Perfect. Completely horseshit. Yeah. Which I would not do ever again to the audience. Yeah. You do it to me all the time. Let's see the yogi. That one, uh, you're going to need a person with no head. <laughs> <laughs> According to this picture, he's right. No, According to this picture. So this one looks like she would be on her back. She's going to go up basically like like the saddle up position. But yep. instead of her legs are up in the same position like the table, but instead of being up on her hands, she's going to have her forearms on the ground, not her, <laughs> not her hands. And she's going to have her... But backwards, with yes. her face looking up, pointing up like, towards like the ceiling. The, like the backwards push-up, like yep. we said, with a saddle up. Yep. And she's got her arch, her back arched a little bit. Opposite, and, though. Not... It's... Well, no, it would be the same arch. Yeah. The down it's, arch. Like correct. The, yes. So yep. her pelvis is going to be higher than her... Correct. ...shoulders So you're kind of going in... As you're fucking her in and out, you're going at an upward angle into her. Which might be... So the yogi might not that only might, be good for glutes, but... It feel good. I yes. bet you hit a different angle. I the, bet, bet Because right there is where the fucking G-spot sponges. You found it? Well, that I think so. <laughs> I've been told where it is. I don't Listen, know. we don't lie to the... We don't lie to the, to the listeners here, so... Then no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> No, I did not. The liberated lover. This looks nothing more to me than the guy laying on the ground and the girl riding him. Yeah, on her knees. The only difference I see a little bit is that she's got a twist to her, like she's looking to the side. She got like her. She's got her arm behind her back, almost like she's grabbing her own ass cheek. And right. in this particular picture, it looks like it would be the right ass cheek. Right. So picture you're riding your boyfriend, guys. She's and on her knees, you, <laughs> and you you're turning. She, he's in you. This is for the girls, obviously. This one, and. You're turned a little bit to the right so that your face is looking perpendicular to her, uh, per- perpendicular to her because parallel is along, whatever. But you're looking to hit the side. Your your right arm is on his knee or almost, and that's it. That's yeah, really it. That's special. pretty. So you're basically, basically just riding is your a man. Liber- liberated that. lover, we know. Yeah. Kanga. Oh, that's doggy style. It's doggy style, but with the guy's got his knees bent instead of being on your knees, fucking her. From behind, you're on your toes. It's hard to tell. It almost you almost wonder is she on her hands and knees though, or is she got like her knees up to? She a, does look a little bit like her knees are know, also off the ground. Very well, could be. So that could be. So a, that's both a double, of you that's guys. a double workout. Absolutely. She's holding herself up, and you're not on your knees. So you're kind of in a like a, a partial squat position in in essence. Uh, the, uh, the the both of you feel better. I think they describe them all as we go down. It looked like the, there, yeah, so. but I like us doing no, it better. No, I know, no, but when we yeah. we'll, we'll compare our comparison. That's a good idea. Uh, legs is the last section here. There's obviously there's four uh, 
positions that you can use to work on your legs as well. The hold on tight, which yep. is basically the guy standing there holding the girl under her <sighs> knees. It looks under like. her knees. She is facing the same direction as the man. Uh, no, they got to be looking at. There's no if he's they're facing this if they're both facing forward. How's he? How are they fucking? You know what I'm saying? They'd have to be looking at each other. Oh wait, that picture might be deceiving. Yeah, she might be. She, there's no way he's. They're both I thought, looking for, like if the girl was looking this way and I was holding her, I was bouncing her up and well, down on my yeah, dick. But you said looking the same way. I thought I was. To me, I, I thought uh, that to meant, me, I thought they were. But I see now that you said that. I'm looking at it, and that picture does look like he might be. They're facing each other. Yes, they'd have to. There's yeah. no other way. Uh, so. Did we just make up a fucking new position? Maybe we did. This is what we do here on this show. We're very creative. We sure are. We're more than just Especially a pretty... Especially with your Rubik's Cube shit you've been We're more doing. than just a pretty face, I can tell you right that's now. right. The Hot uh, Squat. I like that name, first off. I do, too. I thought that's what you were calling the show. <laughs> 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 uh, that's uh, essentially standing, and you're just going to hold the girl up. She's going to, it's basically, picture yourself, if you were, if she was sitting, wait, wait, hold, hold, we have to stop right now. Because the hot squat, if hold on tight, the person is looking towards the other person, that's the same as hot squat, if you think about it. They're just showing you a different angle. Yeah, but you, but look at the hold on tight. Her yep. legs are straight out each side of her, essentially. All right. The hot squat, oh. they're, they're, they're. Each side of the body, straight back, straight not towards straight the back. Out. And okay, her, and her knees are kind of bent. Fair enough. So it's more like her ass is on your upper thigh in the hot yes. squat, to where okay. on the hold on tight, I feel like her ass wouldn't be touching you; it would be away from you. And right, you know, but you'd have to hold on a lot tighter. Yes, I think the hot squat would be easier because you have your legs to help support the weight yep. of her. I got you. All right. Yep. Sorry, I didn't. I thought we fucking came across something there, and we did not. You're looking too much into it. I really am. Apparently, you've never done the hot squat. Uh, yeah. So, uh, more or less, the hot squat is the reverse of the hold on tight, except for your legs are a little straighter out yeah. the back and you're holding on to the, the neck. Basically, the hold on tight is going to be a more strenuous yeah. position. You're going to mm. work a lot harder at that. Mm. No pun intended. A lot harder. Yeah. I, dude, Lots I'm still... This harder. hold on tight still got me, though. There's there's no way the, that they could both be looking forward because his yeah. dick would be in front of him. She'd be... What's she fucking his ass? Well, it would, like, be pointing up. It'd be, like, going up into her. That's what Because, see, look at her arm. How it's behind his head. Yeah, they're facing it. That's what I mean. They're face to face is what I'm saying. They have to be. How can they not? Her, so her arm is like this, and his head is back here, you think? I think it's just a fucked up picture. It could be. It could be a mess. Maybe it's think about this way. If you were facing this? that window yeah. as the male, and I'm the female, and we're going to go in that position, how are you going to fuck me? Your dick is Basically facing that window. Basically from behind. Well, I'm assuming that the purple is going to be the girl as well. Yes, I'm me too. From behind. Well, this is different with, with you. <laughs> you got to have something. Long. You got to be able to reach it. You got to wrap it on between your legs behind you and in her. Between her legs up into her. Yeah. More or less like a more. Okay. More or less like. Where was it? Uh, this one. This is basically the same thing, except for picture him standing with his legs straight. It's still going to be the same. Same thing. Yeah. Kind of. Fair enough. I think in that picture it looks like they're facing each other because her, her I, I hair. Could, I could her, be wrong. Her hair is to us, you know. What I mean? So we're looking yeah. at the back of her head there, right? And she's like looking. Oh, I get you. All right. Yeah. I, 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 who the fuck knows? You really? know what? To each their own. We do whatever, whatever. the fuck we yeah. want on this show. We just made a position up anyway. That's who right. gives a shit? <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to take that away from us by fucking. Yeah. yeah so I don't even want to be right if I was. I don't even want to be and right me either. <laughs> so we agree to be the same. Yes. Uh, the next one, second to last, is flying high. This big girl's basically like sitting on a box. We're going to say it's a washing oh, machine. Yeah, she's sitting on a box, and I'm in the box. Yes. Uh, he is like squatted. Yeah. But to, would... a, to a level that would would put him on a trajectory I... towards the puss. Mm -hmm. uh, like a, as, as if you were landing in a plane in a fog, and there was a fog, and you're just following the light pattern into the runway. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a nice, a nice slow descent into the yes, bus. Right. You don't want to go too fast. The pressures are weird and shit. You'll pop your ears. Yep. Uh, so you're going to, he's got a good angle right into the pop. <laughs> <laughs> you never did that in a plane. Your ears pop when you're coming down real quick. Oh no, no. Yeah. You don't <laughs> Not that I remember. <laughs> you know what? That's why you chew gum up there and swallow a lot when you're going up and down. Fair enough. You know? Uh, so this guy, you're going to want gum with flying high. Mm -hmm. That's to keep your ears uh, open so you can what, hear. I, this your listeners ain't gonna believe me. You might not even believe me. I didn't even realize that the, between the whole airport thing 
that I was just saying, the airplane coming in, mm-hmm. and that this was called flying high. I never clicked. Right. I didn't that do might that be because one of, the, of the name. That I, could be one of them subconscious things, though. Yes. You read the name, and you're, yep. you didn't think about it, but your mind automatically you. for the humor went right to airplanes and yep. shit. I swear to God. The brain I works never, that way. I didn't, and this is no horse I shit. believe you. I never put them two together until just now. I noticed it was about so, flying. So it worked out. It worked out. So they do. So this list, they know what the fuck they're talking about, guys. 100%. Uh, the last one, what do you got for the leg up? This is going to be a tough one for you to explain. No, I don't think so. It looks, I mean, again, it depends on which the female male. I, that's got to be the male behind her. I mean, obviously, yeah. unless it's two lesbians, but it looks like she would be down on at least her left forearm from what I can see. I would say her, like a 45 degree angle. Um, more yeah, like that a thirty seven ish. Well, I mean, I don't have my fucking uh <laughs> protractor or whatever the fuck it is there. Or, you know, but uh, you didn't bring that, you've been so uh, fucking uh, smart. I, I thought think, for sure you have it. I think that's probably more like a ninety. What would that be? A <coughs> acute angle, maybe, but mm-hmm. um but no, so it looks like she's down on her forearm with her bottom half up in the air with her a legs slight bit. With her legs bent. Yep. In this picture, it looks like he would have his right leg. <laughs> Across her ass, going to the left side of her knee, anal sex, anal over sex, her anal back, sex. and he's inside of her, almost like a scissor position, Ye- with his yeah. hand on her back, essentially. Yeah, because that to me looks like his right leg is crossed. Oh, I didn't even notice that crossed over her ass, and it's like touching her left knee. Basically, it's like down alongside. So, so they look like they're playing uh, Twister. Yeah, pretty. That's exactly. To be honest it. with you, that's actually perfect. That's it's basically Twister, but they call it leg up, and you get to have sex. <laughs> yeah, and you get to penetrate. I, I believe if I had to guess, it's it's not that detailed, but I would say her left arm is probably on yellow, and his <laughs> his right foot is probably on green. So, and red is I don't really know. I can't tell. Um, and then he has his right hand on her uh, mid to lower back area, and it looks like his left one has probably got a finger in her butt. Really, the hottest part of a girl's back, I think, is right there. Yeah. That lower back area. And and it looks like her, yeah, her knees are in the air, so. Yep. Uh, do you think so? Because I feel like well, her, at to, that angle, tell. where his foot he's, would be on the ground on yellow, her knee might be on like a red. Well, but if he's got that left hand, you see here, <laughs> yeah, he, he could have like two fingers in her asshole. <laughs> And that's how he could be supporting her in the air. It's anal sex, anal sex. Holding anal her sex. up by her asshole with his two fingers. Oh, oh, you think? <laughs> I guess there's a possibility. I did, that didn't cross my mind, but he could be holding her up like a bowling ball. <laughs> he will. He sure is. So, ah. anyway, you guys got to get the meta quest too. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a full circle to yeah. where we started. You son of a bitch. Ain't that perfect how that worked out? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I get. All right, I follow you now. I'm telling I, you right now. After that description of these positions, if you guys can't figure it out by us describing it to you, then you, you lose, never lived life. Right, apparently. and if you can't lose five pounds by fucking your girl, you're something. This ain't our fault at this yeah. point. Or you have a little dick. Yeah, you're out of. This is not. Let's see what they had to say. Uh, Abdominals. Most sex positions at some point will impact your abs, from crunch to plank style. Doggy or missionary positions, you will work your core through the different thrust and grinds. The experts experts recommend trying love tug, heart to heart, looking glass, the pelvic pike positions to work your abs better. Glutes, squatting positions are great for glutes. For females, this includes cowgirl positions and the bridge. Oh, that's a, we could have described that one like the bridge. Basically, is what he, we said he was like a table, yeah. but he's essentially like a bridge. A bridge would be a better, but, yeah. yeah. We, we kind of dropped the ball for you guys on that one, these but that's are, all right. These are great positions to get toys involved, especially vibrators. The experts recommend also Bowling trying balls. the concertina, yogi, liberated lover, and kanga oo for an extra squeeze. Mm-hmm. Very good. Chest and shoulders. The obvious position here is doggy style or the weir barrel, as you sup- Oh. That's another good. Uh, they did a good we job. We did good, but we did do they good. did a little bit better. Yep. They we added our own little twist. We were learning. You know what I mean? They knew what they were Plus talking this about. This is our show, so we do whatever twist we fucking want. Right. Period. They don't tell us. Right. We, they don't tell, know. we tell them, actually. They don't fucking know. Yeah. Uh, or the wheelbarrow as you support your body weight through your arms and chest. However, the experts have revealed that standing poses and missionary style positions are great, too, as they support part of their partner's bodies. They recommend trying these positions to work on your chest and shoulders, on your marks, nosedive, trick, oral, treat, and saddle up. So this basically was a whole health episode. 
More or less. That's what the, I mean. From working out with the with the with the Oculus or the Meta Two. Yep. To the sex positions, we talked about the elliptical. I mean, this was basically this is basically a health health episode. That's all. And it is. as usual, we've done all this to help you. Absolutely. Like, you remember the episode we talked about how oral sex get, keeps girl, men from getting cancer, hundred percent, and to have your wife and girlfriend. Well, we've do always more. been here for the listeners. That's what this. That's You're why we correct. started. You're, that's this absolutely right. We're going to do lots of cocaine to find the real stuff to get it off the street. I mean, right? We do went over that. We We're talked about to how help. to raise your fucking children so that they don't fuck picnic tables. What more could you want from us? Yeah. What What else could you possibly want from this fucking show? I, I agree. I don't, I don't. There's no other show out there that's no. going to cover all these things no. for you. There ain't one. Nope. But we will. Yeah. We're not afraid. Because we're not. We're selfless. Yes. We're absolutely. Not, you know? Our hearts are bigger than our whatever. I don't know. <laughs> our hearts are too big. Yeah. There you go. Uh, our hearts are bigger than our satchel. Some yeah. fucking thing. Yeah, that'll work. Legs. To in- intensely work your legs, the standing positions are the most appropriate, naturally. These positions will require to, you to use all of the muscles in your legs as you thrust in and out of your partner, or keep yourself steady if you're on the receiving end. Uh, so these, the legs ones will work for both of you. And if you add your partner's weight to the equation, it amps up the intensity of the exercise. So that would be the one where, like, the bridge. He's, yes. He's holding up his weight plus yeah. hers, so that would be where you're adding. Like, like I said, you're holding up your weight plus <coughs> hers, so that is a hell of a workout. To me, though, that one's not, that's more of a workout than a sex position. Fuck you. I would be so tired. I don't know how much sex I could, I don't know how much I could enjoy it. Right. Because it. Well, and the thing with that one is that if she's on you with her feet off the ground, you are in her, correct? That's fine. But if you're doing all the work, the up and the down, she's just going to go up and down with you. Mm-hmm. So there's no, there's yeah, none of this. You, you can't get no separation. There's this, right? Exactly. So you're not really having sex. You're just working the out. Only at thing that I point. could think, I guess, in that position, if she could put her hands behind her, like on your legs, to your take thighs, a look, to keep the to so kind of push her, almost push herself type up. Situation, correct? You're, it's like a spreading, like a. Yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. That's the only way I think that you mm-hmm. can get that separation to really get the slamming in there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> scientifically, of course. Absolutely. The slamming. F- figuratively speaking. Yeah. Uh, so the sexologist suggests trying these positions to work on your legs even harder. The hold on tight, hot squat, flying high, and a leg up. Uh, and that's that, guys. Are you? I mean, I don't... This is... As far as I'm concerned, of all the episodes... Um, if you don't feel like working out after this... And losing weight and better, and your, it's new year, new me type thing. Fuck right. you, you know. I we're we did this for you guys. Yeah, you know we all know the holidays are tough. What about, everybody, like people that are having like a hard time getting going. What, what would you What would you say to somebody that had like a hard time getting started with? Well, this? they would probably have to find a, a partner that they're attracted to. Okay, because that would help with these positions, right? And I don't recommend a three hundred pounder. Because Not to start off. Anyway, <laughs> no, you, you want to start lower. Yes, exactly. Because if you've worked at it for quite a while, you've built up all your chest, shoulders, glutes, and all this stuff, you're going to be a much stronger individual. Not only mentally, but physically. <laughs> Therefore, you're oh, able oh. to hold up that 300 pounder. Keep and you, going. You're, dude, well, this well, is. And then I can tell you, you, you would probably really enjoy that sex. Do you think this is a mental, this will strengthen you mentally oh, as ab- well as absolutely, physically? Absolutely, absolutely. When you but feel on. when you feel better about yourself physically, it affects your mental as well. Mm-hmm. You're more you're more positive, your attitude's better, your outlook on life is better. How I, could it not be? When you feel no, good about right. when I, you I'm feel listening. good when you feel good about yourself, aren't you overall just in a better mood and happier? Sure. So you so, think work so what so do you think this could help your your partner's mental uh Abilities as well, like a, well, absolutely. If this, would you do in you're doing the workout, but you think it could eventually kind of twist over and help your yes, partner I, as well? I, it would it would definitely build a healthier relationship and and make you both happier. I think so. I really do. Well, good. Any last anything last or no? You good? You pretty much got what you yeah, want. I, or? I, yeah, I think I pretty much said it all. So, yeah, good. Well, I guess on that that note, we've pretty much wrapped up episode seventy. Yeah. So we got to get the girls together for 69. That's why we skipped that. Uh, we put it off the best we could to make that work. Uh, and uh, we, But it just, you know, accidents happen. That's the whole they point of an be. accident. Nobody wants them to happen, but they do. And then it fucks, you know. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. So uh, anyway, that's uh, episode 70. And we'll catch you on the next one. Hey, whore. Hey, whore. 